folks, we are finally here. Sorry it took us so long tonight, guys. We just had a little bit of weather trouble. I mean, here in Colorado, for anybody who's not here, it is pretty snowy. And while it's not sticking to the streets here, it's still kind of just a little bit slick. You know, thing, just a little bit late, but thanks for joining us tonight, guys. Comic Convos. We're here for episode 18. 18! Like, oh my goodness. Feels like it was just yesterday we were starting on one. I, I remember that actually it was a snowy night on one too. Yeah, it was. And we, you know, one was solo Axel, and then two, I feel like there was actually some snow that night too. Like, there wait. was snow the whole time, and then that's why the week after two, I think we had a break as well. Mm -hmm. There was a whole week actually where we didn't do it just because we couldn't blizzarding and yeah, all kinds of stuff. We couldn't make it out, and we didn't, you know, we didn't want to travel all that distance. Right. Blizzard, <laughs> it was pretty bad that night. But hey, guys, welcome to Comic Convos episode eighteen. Episode eighteen. E Justice two. Being the focus, obviously, we're going to talk about other stuff going on in the comic book universe. But Injustice 2 is getting a big spotlight because the video game was just released. Oh, guys, it's so awesome. I, I have gotten to play a little, but I don't have it's it yet. So I'm going to buy awesome. it as soon as I get my Xbox back to my friend. For who's anybody who's played it and is here for that tonight, we'll be talking about that a lot. We'll also be touching on other stuff. Uh, there are a couple of new movies coming out. Alien and Wonder Woman is a couple weeks away. I mean, oh, yeah, as it's know. so close. And it, hopefully that'll be the one to make up the DCEU. Yep. Um, and also we got the uh, new TV shows coming out. Black Bolt is on the way. Ju new trailer today, guys. And it was two, a lengthy two, two and a half minutes, man. It, it wasn't was. wasn't a teaser. It wasn't just a little 30 second. No, no this was a, was a beefy two minutes and 14 seconds. Which is what we wanted, especially considering how short. Granted, the, the original Inhumans trailer being a sweet trailer but the new that trailer now is oh, it looks awesome doesn't right, it right because you can see black bolt and you know kind of get a feel for it and it's like right this is looking good it's definitely a lot better than i got i i felt especially like i said for me the big issue and a lot of people didn't want it was the mask i really really that's who black bolt is to me i i would recognize I know, him man. they put like, him uh, i see you see him a lot in a lot of recent co years comics mm -hmm. in like not in the mask but i I can't recognize him without it. Yeah, I, I know. It, it adds a little bit of, you know, this is Black Bolt. It adds a little bit of individuality. It'd be like changing, it'd be like changing the like S taking on Spider Man's off. Just, I feel you. You know what I mean? It's like, oh man, this S is gone. Who's that guy in red and blue? Right? It's like, uh, who is that guy? Anybody in red and blue. Move the water axle. Yeah, oh, yikes. How about we do this then? It's all right. Oh. No, it's like, yeah, like, like, get behind it. Well, what's I up, am Susie? the water. Uh, we have Izzy tonight. What's up, man? Good to see you back. I know our sign was backwards. We told we, you. We, uh, like, ah, we, we, we kind of got to do what we got to deal yep. with, you know? <laughs> Definitely. Damn. But God, he doesn't look too oh. bad. He doesn't look badass without his mask. Agreed, Izzy. He, Agreed. Yeah, I give it to you guys. He just looks I will. Weak. I will agree to you that the, the costume does not look that good. The antenna, no, in that one at all. But the antenna in the costume might not translate well. Yeah. Granted, it's a huge part of the story, but... Hi, Hi Susie. Si. What's thank up, you. Susie? Uh, and actually, I guess we can talk about that even to start off with. Thank you to every everybody thank for tuning so in. Thank you so much yeah. for people tuning in and for... We got 500 likes now, dude. Dude, we crossed 500. We're going to make a thank you video, actually, uh, right after this is done, pretty mm -hmm. much. We're going to shoot a couple short videos. Um, I was, oh, size back! Nice. I was asleep. Looks like you caught it. You're hey, back, man. Welcome size. back. Hey, uh, uh, welcome back. Good. It's brother. so nice to be back. Uh, you know, and special shout out to Cy and Susie uh, because we opened our Patreon at the end of last week's account, and we have luckily already got two patrons. Yeah, we got Cy Kennedy and Susie Marie, two of our finest viewers who've been here yeah. since the first video, I believe. Well, maybe, first, maybe very, very soon. Like I, could, I couldn't tell you when Susie and Side joined. Only that they are some of our oldest fans and our most loyal fans, and we very wanted supportive. to give them special appreciation. And uh, we did not get the. Uh, we didn't get. We don't have. A piece of paper and write Susie's name. Yes, <laughs> we will. We'll make you a but sign. We will make you the sign for the for your patronage and everything. Uh, turning in for the first so time in a while. while. Keep, keep me entertained entertain. while I write this research paper. I'll try to oh, keep you entertained. Absolutely, Josh. Josh. Uh, good luck with your research paper. I know how tough those can be with citation. What kind of citation are you using? APA are you using? Uh, MLA, APA, or Chicago style? Or doesn't matter. Geez, they all there suck. Some, there APA is the worst, them. though. Yeah. Anyone who's ever done research APA will tell you that APA is way worse than the rest. But everybody, um, thanks for the comments and everything. Seriously. And we're just going to kind of dive right in, man. I mean, yeah, let's dive into the video game because yeah. even though I haven't played a, 
too much. I have seen a ton of video on the play. And it there's comics that, are oh. all, that also relate to this video game as well, guys. I mean, there's mostly mind. related, but... You guys got to check it out. So there's actually tighter though with this one. I will admit. Are they a lot? Yeah, there's a little bit of tightness going on because like the the beginning of the um, video game is the end of Injust the Injustice God's Mungus video game. Right. However, when they start actually moving into the plot, looks like things are gonna start moving in the comic direction. I haven't gotten too far to the story mode. Well, they um, only released it recently, right? You told me it was not recently. They did not even come out with. I don't know about other consoles. I can't speak, uh, but PlayStation Four, Chicago, not a fan, not a fan of Chicago either, Josh. And uh, to Susie, thank you, you for supporting support. us. Yeah, yeah, thank you know, you. we appreciate it. So, so mad, bad. haven't brought Injustice. All my money goes to comics. <laughs> yeah, you can come play it with. You know, maybe, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow. Maybe maybe yeah. tomorrow after. I don't know. I have to figure out when I can hit maybe up. Maybe we'll have like a gaming party. Yeah, we'll go games. And we'll do well because I have it on Xbox and Leo has it on PS4. PS4. So. Jamie, what's up, man? Yeah, well, enjoyed your that. podcast the other night, man. It was really, really informative. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. yeah, Injustice Two, though, man. The combo system. The story is actually going pretty good to me. Like the first one, the story was kind of like man, well, like it's another fighting game st- style story. They talk about it, the original Injustice, and we talked about it both comic wise and game wise. They forced a ton of the a lot of the it's story, story like they could have fi- finessed some of it like some darkening what's up yeah woo xbox woo, nice. yeah Susie, we'll play together wait, it, wait. It, and it seems like some of these characters it's almost like and what you mean by force is like i kind of understand what you mean because like even in the very beginning when flash was like sitting there watching superman pummel this kid it's like he could have easily stepped in just like barry allen would do but he was just like I'm just here. I'm poised in fear. And like some of the stuff Diana's doing, she's driven by how she feels about soups. Like yeah, it just doesn't. That, well, and that was feel, the whole part of that injustice. The injustice timeline and everything even was like, oh, <sighs> there was so much. Just, like you said, though, it was like, all right, you've got characters like who maybe could turn to evil, like how? That was an okay Absolutely. switch. Especially when they brought in the whole Sinestro thing eventually. Oh, yeah. And the whole Yellow Lantern corpse. And like, yeah. I was like, okay, this is making sense. But like, Diana. Diana and was very questionable because her whole thing is noble. Noble. And being like, and not killing people, not going as far well, as she did people She out. did kill people. And she even, there's quotes, a lot of quotes about her killing people. Yeah, but, but not, not like Silks is doing. No, like, he's gone oh full dictator mode. And she's supposed to be he's this like, anti-man He's dictator. like, all oh, war must be Harley, liked. this is Joker, definitely does. Hey, welcome, Mike. Thank you for oh, joining yeah. Mike. Oh, uh, yeah. I think she's referring to the Injustice 2 scene um, in the video game where... Joker actually comes back and he's taunting her and he's like, you know you want to kill Batman, you know you want to. And she's like, not so fast, Mr. J. And she doesn't call him Puddin' anymore and like she kind of like gets away from him and right. that type of stuff. Well, which is, I'm glad they're writing that because it's hard to write and people glorify that relationship between them far too much. Far too much. It's Especially very considering, abusive. oh, it's so abusive. Incredibly. And, and depending too. on which timeline you're in, uh, and, you know, New 52 relationship between Harley Quinn and the Joker was insanely bad. Horrible, the, man. The, the, the Even I, some of the shows, like the Batman animated, uh, fun, Batman was laughing. He was laughing at Harley Quinn when she was imagining a life between uh, her really and nice. Joker. So, so guys, guys just stop and say, I gotta get ready for again. Oh, I feel you, man. The Flash, Reverse Flash returns. We gotta get ready for it. Hey, gotcha. Th- yeah, dude. Yeah, he, Mikey just binge watched season one. Is in is on season two. <laughs> uh, but thank you for even tuning in, man. Um, feel free to go ahead and share the video if yeah, you like. You want. Doesn't but, uh, everybody yeah, want a psychotic, dysfunctional relationship? Everyone says we all want it. I mean, we? if you don't believe it, just look at your ex. Um, I mean, everybody, not just you, Susie. I mean. Everybody, Everybody, look at your yeah. ex and tell me uh, that we're not telling the truth. What's up, Jessica? Because uh, I got to say, I was making bad choices. Uh, it's, happened. <laughs> it's happened to the best of us, man. It's all right. I mean, you know, well, we live, we learn. And you're blind to it, you know. We talk about it, which is why I like that they're now drawing her away, that she's realizing, you know, Poison Ivy, and everyone exactly. is pushing her and telling her, you know, this relationship's no it's good terrible. for you. And, and she were, made that decision based on her but, own. But, and here's the thing, I think this is, it's heavily, and I'm glad they're not doing it too much. They're doing it a little in the comic books, too. Not the Injustice comic books, but even but the, real, real, yeah, the real but ones. But the problem being that this pulls away from Harley's original character model, which was this kind of neat, why is she crazy? Because she's needy, needy. and she and has she to have the Joker, Joker to and, function. And, and that was a lot, and like she had become, she had corrupted, there was a whole thing. And so now we see 
that she's very much not as dark as the Joker anymore. No. Nope. Whereas before, she used to be less dark than the Joker. She's a lot more protagonistic good. now. Yes. I mean, she does. She makes a lot more good decisions. Things that the Joker would never have her do. Right. And, and she works with the Suicide role, Squad. So I, and, yeah. There's a, there's a huge dynamic there where it's just like, okay, Harley has definitely changed from the character that she used to oh, be. Oh, yeah. By far, dude. But that, I mean, and that's a good thing, but, you know, we got to see where it leads. She used to never jo- uh, question the Joker at all. Well, and they talk, they talk about it, you don't actually see the thing, but the, in the that comic book... That man is much better for Harley. I don't think that. Ah, uh, no, I don't Harley. think so. Even though that's what's happening in Injustice <laughs> Doesn't 2 right now. Doesn't she have a thing going with Lobo now? She might, in the comics, I'm not that caught yeah, up on I'm Injustice. Yeah, like, I don't know. Well, because I'm not caught up on the Suicide Squad comics. Well, Injustice doesn't depict all that, but... Yeah, no, I, well, I think as he's talking about the regular re- DC Rebirth, which... Yeah, because I'm not right that now, caught up on Lobo or Harley Quinn stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm fairly... I don't... Bash. I literally don't read the Harley Quinn stuff, because I don't necessarily enjoy her character all that much as a yeah. solo character i always liked her. I, I liked her suicide squad with joker i literally like everything about her with the joker except for the physical violence and the that is depicted quite a few times yeah I mean, that, which wow. it is but it was never like the center point of their oh, but no. the mental uh violence in straight edition was but that was kind of part of their character of being mentally damaged i will say so one she, thing that i really do like about injustice so I think she has a make and injustice too is the the duke out between Batman and Superman is so palpable. Well, not man. only that, all right. So besides besides it. character pers- per- personalities in Injustice, the it comic also, book, it everything also, else is actually very accurate. Exactly, and I was gonna say in the sense that it points out some flaws that Batman has that a lot well, of Batman, fans aren't willing to address. I mean, there's Batman, but also Sup- even even Sup- Superman, a Green Lantern, like. They, they they interact, you know, and that's one of the great things about the Injustice storyline, Injustice Gods Among Us, Injustice 1, Year, year two, 2, Year 3, five. 4, well, and then 5 is actually Ground Zero. That's Really? Uh, is that I a think, glitch on that site? Because of Year 5 I don't know. It's, one and then I think it's Ground Zero. Yeah, I think it might be that. Is Or it might be what Gods Among Us is Year one I, there's like I whole, is uh, the very very first one is Gods Among Us right which is a whole it's there's, there's an interesting way they, they which I, I just I feel you man that that four cents going through the storyline let's see we got a couple comments here I like I think she has make out scene with him uh, not just gonna against throw her this out there Trickster in the Flash reminds me of hardcore of Heath Ledger's Joker that's because Heath Ledger's Joker is heavily based off of Mark, Mark Hamill's Hamels. Joker, yeah, um, who is the original, who is the trickster in that episode, and is also um, the original <sighs> Joker. Man, he, he was, was a Joker. great trickster. I thought. I thought he was too dark, actually. Yeah, I thought <laughs> he was good for the flare overs, though. Is my thing. It's, it and we have all right. to all, we we have to look at it this way. We have to look at it in the sense that this is a completely new universe. I know. Roles. I know. But I, I just always think matchups. of you. I can't remember if it's War or Flashpoint where you see Flash. He basically beats up on all the other villains, but the trickster, he just tells him, he's like, are you off your meds again, Marvin? He's like, I don't like to take them. They make my head fuzzy. Right. You know, you're supposed like, to take them. Come on now. He's like, he knows he's not a bad guy. He's literally just mentally ill. And uh, I've, I love the depiction of him there because the trickster isn't evil in the same man. He's childishly evil. He's... But I didn't he feel like he was that antagonistic in Flash. He pops up in two episodes, and he's just doing some kind of childish antics. Oh, well, antics. no, and that's... he. Uh, I don't know, man. The childish antics in those ones were... Like, he wasn't, like... Because he popped up in the second one in Earth 3, where Jay Garrick was. That's I think he was the only... A bank that or one's the one that was like, more the original... Yeah, that, that depiction is what but I was the, referring to. The yeah, Christmas the ori- one is what you're talking about? I'm talking the about the other where he has the Christmas one and then his original appearance... I Both it, of those are no. The Christmas ones another one because remember he has the Christmas ones with him and the Weatherman. Oh, and that's yeah, he pops so mad early, dude. Yeah, the original right. and that one they are trying to bomb a bunch of kids. Which, yeah, which is like whoa, that's a little super too dark. Much. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Clay? Hey, thanks for coming thanks back. For coming Clay. back, it's good man. to see you guys and the uh, Guardians of the Universe. Hopefully, everybody has come back and thanks, we're just talking Guardians about Injustice Two. Both the video game and the comic books, and as well as the Injustice comic books, uh, yep, the year one, year one. There's yeah. some crazy stuff in there, and I feel like it's been out long enough now that I there's not. We Superman kills everybody. Oh yeah, he does. He, and he the crazy Holly and like the whole like, Holly coming from another universe shit. And oh, that was crazy. Yeah, I'm like, like, oh, now him and Black no, like, Canary he, get he married. He literally and, kills uh, like if you go through and read because you've only read 
year one, right? Mm -hmm. And like I said, I've read a little bit of the others. Yeah, the synopsis. But you don't get into things. So year one's great because you see a lot of the big deaths like Martian Manhunter, Mm -hmm. Ollie. Sapped by suits. Right. To death by suits. Uh, Uh, Most of them were killed by suits. Yeah. I mean, (laughs) we have Nightwing. But accidentally killed by Damien. That's about one of the only deaths. Yeah, that's not Soup's fault. <laughs> yeah, argue, it's, arguably, it's not going to be. Arguably a terrible death. Oh, that was the worst. Probably the worst Worst death. written death in comic yeah, books. Comic by history. far. Well, I don't care. How does Nightwing, such as like a great character, die in that manner? Just even like, if it's an alternate universe. I, and like even can't. if it's like, it was this like, whole action. It's like, oh, he always. But it was, and it was powerful, but it was so dumb. I've seen a scene of a guy getting killed by his own sentient skateboard that wasn't as stupid. So well, there you go, man. I mean, just, it just saying, puts to, it, like, it puts the picture that it's actually a very dumb death, but the impact to have was beautiful. That like was the whole that, scene with Batman. But you could have done that up. anyway. That could have been like uh, a missed punch, and he like crushed his throat. Exactly. Like, I mean, it could have been anything logically that like, like since oh, he, he accidentally if, exploded and a rock and fell on his head or yeah, something. Well, he got hit by the pole, and then he falls over and, and crushes cr- his neck on a rock. Right, which is so like, dumb. On because a it's small like, rock, it's like this big. Yeah, it's, it's like, such dang. a small thing, it's so bad. What? Like I said, I would have been uh, weather with like, oh, he threw a battering and it got deflected and hit the ceiling. And, like, and then it's like jammed him in the throat or, or something, somewhere. Something, something more than that. Something more impactful than... Oh my God! He got hit by a fucking stick, and then he fell over and broke his neck. Man, and, and I know it happens, people, but this is fucking Nightwing. But and, and here's and that that even affected Damien it is, too. Susie. It is. That I mean, Damien that yeah. honestly hardened Damien. The, the exact opposite for each of them. Damien's like, well, now this has happened. I have to, and I don't know what his logic behind it is. Obviously, he, he's obviously just like, well, he's like on soup. He he turns he, a soup side. I know. And it's like, how did it feel? I I can't remember who was who hits him with it. it was either Plastic Man or. Somebody else hits him with a real heavy line. Is like, how is your fake daddy doing? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, it was yeah, bad, it was man. Rough. It was bad. And in Injustice, too, he he actually grabs onto a prisoner, and he's like, this guy is like 21 rapes, blah, blah, blah. And, like, Batman's like, no, don't kill him, don't kill him. And he slices his throat. He's like, what? in the dialogue before, he simply just looks at Batman, and he goes, you weren't raised by the League of Assassins, and just slices this guy's throat clean open. And proceeds to beat the shit out of Batman. I mean, not like in the sense that he's just like getting the best of Batman, but he's giving him a little trouble because Batman has gotten older. Let's oh, yeah, be real does. here. He's definitely aging. Um, and he can't really keep up with them, but Soups is like, enough. We're gone. See you later, Batsy. Like, they just yeah. leave together. I'm like, well, and it's always the problem. And all yeah, crap. there's all kinds of like good things. And like the comics are even more interesting because there's slight like, levels to that too. Like, you have the. Oh, yeah, and it goes into more detail in the comics because this just touches on the very, very surface area surface of what they're area. doing. Whereas the comics, like, Go especially if you it. read Ground Zero with Harley Quinn. Harley What's up, Quinn, Corey? Harley Quinn is basically the star of that, and you get a lot more feel for the underground in that one, where it's like the people, what are they doing as opposed to, like, Batman. Hey, what's up, uh, Adrian? What's up, Adrian? What's up, guys? Um, you know, there's lots and lots of different minor interactions that go a long way for example like the thing with selena eventually selena betrays batman you know yeah. what I mean? that's like huge it's huge like, man charge the setting so i can sh- it should be it should be able it and for some reason it seems like you're you can never share adrian yeah i, I don't know why i don't i don't know why Corey, i know you've read injustice though and yeah, there are some, there's some crazy dialogue that goes on in the comics that just gets brushed, glossed over in the games, which I'm cool with because I'm there to fight. You know, I'm there to it's right, a fighting the game. I'm there to, to play. play right? Right? Yeah, like, oh, I, I, I like story in video games. I, I do too. Cinematic story though. But if it's a fighting game, honestly, I'm totally like, let's just get to the fight. I don't know, man. I like I like both of them, especially because for fighting games like that specific type of fighting game. It's a story-driven fighting game. Well, mm-hmm. more more so than the point that, like, the, once you're done with the the fight, the actual gameplay is limited. No matter how expansive, like, the open world, the, the world stuff is more impressive. Oh, what's up, DH? Yes, welcome back. Hey, welcome how back, you been? Welcome back, man. Good to see ya. Uh, but, like, this limited play, like, even the best, like, don't get me wrong, it, there's maximized play in the fact that 10 years from now you can still play this game and have fun. The oh, limited yes. play and there's a limited amount of actual new things you can do. There's only so many times you can play the characters before you know all the characters. Fighting the games and stories them. can be boring up until the actual fights. And see, Corey, here's how I feel about that. I feel like it's a nice... There's, I like a nice story out of this Injustice game, 
but it's not going to get as deeply detailed as the comic. It doesn't have this many issues no, per series, you know what I mean? And it's not supposed to. And I'm I'm down with it just kind of glossing over the very major issues. So then if you are somebody who played the game first, you'll be more intrigued to read the comics and see what's actually going on behind yeah, some of the definitely. curtains. Um, I mean, you know, you know, Corey, because I'm that you lent me the comic book in Justice Gods Among Us. I mean, boom, Superman rams his fist right through the Joker and it just kind of dominoes Thanks for there. Thanks yeah, for sharing, Eugene. Sure. It's a huge thing. That comic is awesome, awesomely written, actually. Oh, very. And pretty much every way. I, I really miss the, I can't remember if it's in there, is the alternate. So run? there's a storyline to Injustice? Yes, actually, DH. Um, Superman basically becomes a dictator and takes over the world. Yeah, there's a whole thing. There's a comic book behind the storyline that was released in conjunction with uh, DC, DC and, and, and uh, Nether Realm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah. Were in, yeah, the original. The uh, because mortal, this one is Mortal Kombat creators slash. This one's still in the realm, but I mean they're just part of the production. Though. They're not the driving, the driving force of the story. Uh, Nether realm is more. I in push it. Shazam back. Yeah. Oh. Uh, me and Axel are talking. About I know, it. dude. Really that no scene way. with Shazam is the saddest oh, scene. Good point, though. It, it catches more the attention. comics. Go to Barnes and Nobles and get the Injustice comics. That's Agreed. So I, good. Oh, DH Loss doesn't like the MK style games. I, I'm biased. I've always loved, loved the MK Mortal style Kombat. games. When I was a kid, my my father and my uncle had this uh, like building they used to rent out for, you know, work, mm-hmm. and they had a projector screen on the weekends where we would literally play the first Mortal Kombat, and all of the characters were six feet tall, like they would be in real life. That's awesome. Yeah, dude. it was it was awesome to watch these six foot characters digitally on a screen fight in you know super it's sick. Luke King and Goro and everyone. Right, I used to love. Run. That's why I used to love going to Speaking, my grandpa's house. Oh, I mean, yeah. it was just super bloody and gory, and I didn't want to really want to pay, play it in front of my parents. I thought I was going to get in trouble. Right. But my grandpa would just be like, you know, yeah, you can play it, no worries. And see, for me, Got a it. Sega and play the original yes. MK. Yeah, yes. yeah. I'm a total MK. Love those games. Love yeah, it. dude. Love them. And, and what I will say that, and I gotta ask, how is the story implemented like Nether Realm implemented MK10? Because that has by far been the best fight game story. Again, I'm not too far into the story of the game yet. Oh, uh, it shouldn't take actually, too long. It's it's if you played MK10 is the other question. Yes, I the have. story mode, and it, I really like the story mode in that one. What do you what do you mean the, by is it the, is it implemented well? Do you so, mean like does it slide pretty right? Yes, yeah, exactly. absolutely. Oh, and dude, that is the it most goes important. from dialogue and they step up to each other and boom, it's yeah, exactly. And that's what I mean. Games. That's what Nether Realm was doing so and well. And the best thing about the um, the storyline fights is that there are customized interactions. All right, yeah, you're right. Arcade, arcade beats, but only because you have the joystick. Exactly. If I had a joystick at home, and the buttons, the but. I mean, in the actual fights, there's customized dialogue. So da- oh, okay. when Damien and Batman are fighting, he's like, you know, Damien, your skills are rough. Like, it's like the dialogue is customized for those two that's characters. That's pretty cool. That I did hear there was a lot of interactive dialogue like that. And that's become a very popular thing in games. Even I like that. In every lot. game, not just that game, uh, interactive dialogue. And more, more variable, subtle dialogue where it's like, oh, it does kind of know... Who it's, who it's who it's around it just feels more yeah. active than live based and that's it's cool because that's just an audio recognition i spent a fortune in quarters oh, ah God, yeah, yeah we all have we all well, have. nickel a play is only five cents per game it's sometimes up there. to 15 i didn't have so. that <laughs> oh i'm yeah, sorry man good. and then the classic arcade in arcade games and nickel a play are free yeah those ones are free though so it's like no there's some marvel versus capcom there's some mortal Kombat. like they have quite a bit of did free. they have all the castle ones Mm-hmm. I haven't been in a long time. Oh man, they don't, those games are old, bro. Like Soul Calibur one and two. Oh man, they got those ones up there. That's crazy, Susie. I have nickels. Huh? I have brackets. Or nickels. Oh god, I can't reach from this far. Man. I know. It's so far. That's why. But I no, but in. and Injustice is great. But we, uh, I think we can. Like I said, it's not spoilers going through a review of these five, six year old. Oh yeah, comics. I mean Injustice is Honestly, very. Honestly, story should be the biggest selling point of any game. If the story is crap, it's not worth it. In my and opinion. that's how I feel. But I feel like in fighting games, things could be a little different. Honestly, st- oh yeah, that's the same comment. Um, but yeah, dude, Injustice oh. Two the. The storyline in the game, very well implemented, um, and it goes, the storyline goes through smoothly, it makes a lot of sense, it feels a lot less forced than the actual first one did, and maybe this is where they're improving, 
because that's how I feel about Injustice too. It's starting to slide into a plot that's a little less forced, and it seems like these characters are kind of being themselves. That's good. I mean, well, just, this, they made good choices on this one too by using the villains instead of the heroes. Exactly. They make them more. They make their motivations like the the, the turning of soups was a great story point. You know I what think I mean? We got one. I think we got Corey heading out. Oh, thank fire. you for coming through. Batman does rule. Yeah, he and does, man. Be, Thanks, Corey. Uh, we got Thanks the for latest cods for story online been trash since Black Ops One, maybe two. Uh, Cobb's story's never been all that high on the list. Me, I will me. say that Black Ops 1 had a fairly decent story. I oh, yeah. That one, and I will, I will put that Black one Ops I 1 pretty high. And then also uh, Black Ops Call of Duty 4. I think that's why I really enjoyed Ooh. it, because those two still had good story. And, exactly. Like, really implemented. And they also were still kind of adding new stuff. I'm a fan of a good story, but it isn't required for me. But, but I, I definitely, definitely appreciate, appreciate a good story. story. I, like I said, for me, it just depends on what you're doing. Like, I don't need a, a, a giant story for this two-day game. But if there's GTA any type, of, if there's any type of character plot development uh, or like action, like where that's gonna happen, then yeah, I probably gotta have some some pretty good story to go along with any decent characters. Because so, for example, the that one, this one's a little hard. What's up, Andrew? Up. Good to see you, brother. Welcome. Black Ops 1 and 2 were good story-wise. Destiny 2 story, though. I don't know. Oh, man. I got to see it still. I did see the gameplay. The, the I haven't demo. seen the You didn't see the demo? Did you see the de- I demo? I didn't see the demo. I didn't see I haven't seen story the story stuff, stuff either. To uh, me, GTA requires a good story. Otherwise, it gets repetitive and boring. Yeah, I mean, that's just the, st- it's the style of game for me, though. That's the thing. It's like certain games for me can keep me a little bit more entertained. Yeah. And GTA, yeah, does get drab without a good story. It Actually, does. all the GTAs are awesome. They yeah. are pretty good. Damn. The only one who's that's not good is The Ballad of Gay Tony. And oh, it's not because... Have you tried that one? No, man. It's, it's not even the fact that it's Gay Tony. Remember, the actual playability is basically a rip of Vice City. Yeah, I heard it's terrible. It was not very good. Gears of War Every is other a great story. Gears of great War has story. probably one of the best storylines. It's one of the oh, reasons God. to play it. The book okay. is even better. Oh, the books on uh, Gears, Gears of War are War. awesome in it. There's a specific artist. I can't remember what her, It's Peterson, I think, or something? Yeah, Bungie. They had a live event for today. A bunch of people got to play it today. Oh, man. Hey, I hey. wish I could play do some of those live things. Maybe one day we awesome. will with the Patreon. I can never know. We'll get us. Send it. Send us anywhere. We'll do it. We'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it, man. We'll do Who it. knows? We might start. I mean, we're going to start doing a lot more videos, guys. Be on the lookout for our spoiler segments. I think the first one's coming out tomorrow. Yeah. For everybody Schedule. at the same time, uh, as just for Coronation, Patreons, patrons on our Patreon will get everything early. Uh, well, yeah. Days. Yep. Then we'll get it ahead of time um, and they'll get some behind the scenes content, yeah. shout outs and things like that. Yeah. Which, is, I, which Susie can tell you about is Susie should have already gotten some access to some of the behind the scenes stuff as well as some of the early access stuff. we got some Patreon only pictures, for example, I know mm-hmm. are releasing we this week. Uh, for example, there's a Dracula-based one that I thought was pretty funny. Nice, <laughs> I got a couple videos I'm making as well that are on the way. We're nice. going to do a lot of stuff with the Patreon and even just the videos and content, guys. We're stepping things up, so yep. be on so the lookout. Please, yeah, please, and be you know, ready to look and share. Uh, Gears of War is pretty good, but again, the online Yeah, the great. problem with Gears Online is shotguns <sighs> dominated. If you were good with the shotgun, you were good you at were Gears just, of War. Yeah, online. you would be... Everyone but the p- the greatest part about Gears of War f- being that it was the first person to introduce Horde mode. Yeah, and, and I love style. that Horde mode. And everybody's, I mean, everybody loves Horde mode. That's why every Amazing. single game has <laughs> topped it since. Right? I mean, name a game that, ev- basically every other third person shooter's Horde mode is based off Gears of War. Gears of War, yep. Big things Shotguns galore. Shotguns galore. Yeah, yeah, that was the real problem. It's like you drop into a map, bro, and then you just get shotgun Horde, yes, yes, for the Horde. No, Horde. Seriously, though. Um, and speaking of, you know, all the stuff going on, we're, we'll talk about some upcoming we We got we got Alien Covenant in movies. We got Guardians of the Galaxy that just came out. King Arthur just came like, out. Oh, man. And yeah. Alien's out tonight. We're actually probably going to go see it, and then hopefully we'll have some reviews and some stuff going on. Be on the lookout for my Monday review on that. Yep. Transformers last night is also coming up. King Arthur, I'll post my article on the page, guys. I didn't have to see it to predict the ending, so I didn't feel that I needed to see it and there are some other things that were going on it's just not that original look. yeah I can't wait, can't wait for Alien. Alien. We'll, we'll nice. get to Aliens tonight 
anyone seeking it out. So that's 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 what I'm talking about. I didn't have to see KA to, to really know it, yeah. what it would, you know, how it would end and to predict what was going on. Yeah, I was just And never, it wasn't original. Like, like I hoped for it. Though. Yeah. You, you hoped for it, but, like, look at these things. The cast... You had Charlie Hunnam and that one black dude from Guardians of the Galaxy, and that's about it. You also didn't really have new and original, fresh feeling settings. Don't need to see K waiting for Netflix. <laughs> exactly. yeah, that's, that's that's what I put at the end of my that article. A, that's almost a burn at this point. It's like straight to Netflix. Yeah, might as well wait. I mean, guys, it doesn't look original. The cast is black. The setting. I haven't even seen the, kind even of. the. Even mm-hmm. the trailer, trailers and the teasers didn't give me a reason to really want to go see them. No uh, great scenes. I think K.A. is overplayed. Too many King movies already done. Yep, too well, many King movies and too, too many, many King Arthur, Arthur movies. movies. I mean, how many King Arthur movies oh are there? Oh, my God. We got Excalibur. We got Swords of Stone. We got King Arthur from back in, like, the 70s or something. I kind of want a yeah, King movie, but really says right. something original, yeah, like I, I said. Exactly what yep. you said. Like, I want something good because I love that in my... In my head, it's always the animated Sword in the Stone that I want yep. brought to life. Can someone bring me that? And until they can, eh. Like, so the, the, greatest, the greatest thing that was similar to that was they Knights did a the series Royal called Day. Merlin. Yep. And the series Merlin was pretty good. It was, actually. Um, I agree. But it wasn't about Arthur. It was about Merlin. Merlin. <laughs> um, Which is so a better you know, perspective than it was original. Clearly, Charlie uh, Hunnam never, never catches, catches a break with movies. I mean, that might be... Pacific Ram, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Knights of the Round, yep. They need to do, do a, a good, good story, story like, like the books did. did. Yes, that's Love true. Merlin. Love yes, Merlin. Merlin just has... I don't know, there's so much... Uh, and, you know, besides those movies and the Merlin things, what? We got Pirates coming out. Wonder Woman, which... <laughs> All the rumors going around about it being the lowest like, box more, office. More like, about whatever. that. More, more, more. Forget that. Who cares about money? The money. Yeah, it's like it, I wanted to say DCEU guys because, to be honest, quite frankly, I can't think of one DCEU movie that I've been incredibly impressed with right now. I, then call me a Marvel Last fanboy all you want, Batman, but, but no, nah, I mean you can call me. Well, that, but I mean, very the DCEU right is now. new. Let's not forget this started with Man of Steel. Right. And then it went into Batman vs. Superman, then Suicide Squad. Now we're heading to Wonder Woman which, Justice League. Which, it's so dumb that it starts at Man of Steel. I know, I'm like, what? you don't even get the original. It was whatever. The point being... I'm a Marvel fanboy. They just want money is all. Yeah, I can agree with that. It's easy. I mean, like I said, I, I, I even being my Marvel fanboy, this, this is my objective. Because I can objectively say... And look on either side and tell you, you know, if you want to be objective about it, go to movie sales. Movie sales, Marvel owns 17 of the top 20 superhero Super grossing movies. movies of all time. Period. <laughs> it's it. A 17, it's not 17, it's like 11 or 12 out of 20. It's like 9 in it's, all reality. But like, no, to be it's, honest, it's like out of the top 20, it's like out of the top 12 20, or 13. It's, I would say it's between 9 and 10 the last I've seen. It's it so Well, high. then again, there are Civil I, I War listen, you got, stuff that's, that are coming. That's why. That so the, the, three, the three highest on uh, DC are all the Batman movies. Yep. Those movies are the three top. The then the only, the only other two that break in are Man of Steel Oh, and God. and Batman versus Batman versus Superman, Superman c- breaks in, yeah. And then I, that was I think huge. there might be one other. And but then that's Avengers it. is like number one. Uh, it the is Avengers, by far the, the, the all three of the Avengers or all two of the Avengers movies. Yeah, are, are, Avengers are, and Age of Ultron are both on the top twenty, and they're actually I think they're actually both in the top five. I'm telling you, they they own most they, of they the spots. dominate. And for after sure. after Avengers comes Cap- Captain America, right, Iron Man, then Captain America, then the th- then uh, sorry no ap- uh, Iron Man. Spider Man, which America. is which is if we're counting MCU, Spider Man, right? Count. Well, I'm not counting, I'm are you just counting, talking counting Marvel, Marvel in properties. general. Okay, if we're just because well, if not, then we can't even count the Dark Knight series, see, and then you can funny. only count Batman versus Superman. Well, I was counting, I was counting all of DC <laughs> and MCU, that's what that's all. So, if, yeah, that's why it's like if we count all of uh, these, but I'm telling you, they they ridiculously have almost most of those highest growing movies, superhero. Just look it up real quick. Yep. And it's so high. The SMB protocol, Netflix is so cheap, they use an exploit. Oh man, we're getting it. I mean the point 
He who Batman vs. Superman. Oh, yeah, Avengers number Avengers, one. Avengers, Avengers, Dark Knight, Captain Avengers, America, Avengers, Iron Man, Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider-Man Deadpool, Deadpool, Spider-Man, Spider-Man Guardians, you see Batman, what I'm saying? Suicide Squad, Iron, Iron Man, Iron Man, Iron Man 2. <laughs> Do you see what I'm Man saying? Squ- Man of Steel didn't even squeeze into the top ten. I thought it did, so it was it was the other one. Um, Batman vs. Superman is yeah, not in the top ten either. No, it didn't. And so like you I just said, look at ten, keep, it's like, boom, Marvel, Marvel with only two. two. No, three. Dark Knight. No, Dark it didn't even get both of them. Two. It only got two of them. And that the other Dark Knight's down here on the other list. And that's why I said, out of the top 20 titles, Marvel properties, not counting Sony, I guess. Yeah, Batman even, Begins. But even, even if you don't count 20. Sony, you just take two of those off for Sony, that's still 11 titles. Deadpool, can't mm-hmm. wait for oh, two. Oh, three, I forgot, uh, Deadpool. So if you take three of those titles off, you still have you an got one head now. Age of Ultron we'll see was Thanks for coming in. Well, I got to head on now. Thank you so much for Damn, coming, Mikey. Thanks for coming, Mikey. You're right. Age of Ultron was beast. It was amazing. Feel free to share. It's like hacking the evening news and putting it out at nine instead of ten. Oh man, yeah. I'm I mean, telling you though, like look at the look at the the ten to twenty even. Oh yeah, even ten to twenty. Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy two is seventeen it's now. Already, and it's already been out for what? Two weeks, not even, not even a full two weeks. No, I mean it's it's been two weeks and it's still climbing. It might get above Man of Steel. I doubt it, but it might. Oh, I'm I'm almost certain it'll pass it. It's not even it's his first month of release. Yeah, it's not even that big a gap when you look at it. It's only thirty thousand. Yeah, that's not even that big of a gap. Or thirty million. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's only thirty million. Which, which yes, can be scooped up in a couple weeks. Those, those will. That's that's the uh, the secondary views at secondary cinemas right there. They just dropped O I T N B. O I T N B. Anyway, two weeks today. Oh, they did it because companies were paying in Bitcoin to unlock their files. Oh, he's identity. talking about the the hack thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah, I told you, dude. And like, you even look, it's like the, uh, the, the Incredibles. Incredibles 19, is on there. that's awesome. But yeah, it's all Spider Man, all Cap, Iron Spider-Man, Man, all Cap, Batman, all, f- all that. And then you get Superman. I guess I'd the Suicide, Suicide Squad, Squad got up there. I, I yeah, am surprised I they actually, squeezed in there. Wow. And that's why I'm almost certain Guardians will do much better than that. It'll climb pretty high. They're having their own conversation, they're loyal. I'm sorry. Must have been from editors, computers. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think she was talking about Psy and Yeah, they're talking things. about the other thing. Hey, that's they're talking perfectly about the okay. Week. Yep, that's what we want is more conversation both in the chat and with us. So yeah, but like even, I said, and, and if we're just speaking even MCU, that's dominating the top ten itself. Like I said, even if you take out the Spider Mans and Deadpool, that's what six. What? Oh, sorry, so we got Avengers, One, Avengers, Avengers, Age of Ultron, Ultron Iron, Iron Man, Man 3, three, Cap, Civil War, and then that's it. But that's four out of ten Marvel, and then not the rest just Marvel, of other but versions see. of them. Fox, Sony, the, it's just like yeah, sorry. Companies. And then yeah, like I hate to say it, but DC's breached the top ten twice. Two out, of two, ten. out of ten. two out of ten is an F on every conceivable level, guys. And The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises were great movies, but we gotta head back in that direction, DC. Or you're just right, that's not even part of your current universe. And we're hoping we're hoping that Wonder Woman is good in the sense that maybe it might not even squeeze on this list, but the plot's great. Right. She's is it gonna a gonna great Wonder Woman. Excited. It doesn't exactly. have to sell well. The selling well is just one of those hard facts if you want to get down to <sighs> hard for like and people are like, well, it'll grow less than Justice League. Think about how excited we are for Thank Justice you, League and happening this entire time. That. Justice League is a big deal. And it's Did been a rumor hear about for a that while. Though? Did you hear about that, though, that they've been reshooting all the scenes from yep. Justice League and that it's a totally, totally different, different movie different now? Movie. Yep. And I heard that The Flash just dropped an actor. They just dropped Henry Allen. He's gone. Um, there's no director still. Uh, Sam Raimi all directed. directed the oh, well, they first Spider-Man they looking at Kevin they Smith pa- he though, passed on it show. Did he, did yep. he Sam pass Raimi on it? Sam Raimi passed they're looking at Kevin Smith oh, now that's what I was about to um, say oh, okay. he Sam, hasn't passed on it Sam Raimi passing I can understand because I don't think and there was one other guy in. that passed on it because here's well. the thing every right now every DC movie is a gamble it is every single one every is a single gamble one is rolling the dice because that's the other thing we, you don't think about, but all these directors and actors have to look at these movies, and that's why you don't always get the best actors, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, in every movie. And Kevin even, Smith, yeah, yeah, Kevin yeah, Smith. Kevin Smith is being that, looked if at. If I have a man crush, that's my man crush. Right, right there, freaking Kevin Smith. Kevin Such Smith a big is like nerd, and he's, he's awesome. the nerd every other nerd aspires to. Right? Like, I like, want to be as nerdy did, as he him. took his passion of being a nerd and turned it into a profession, per career. Like one of the first ones to do it ever, like back mm-hmm. in the '90s. Right? And it's like, was, what? What more could you ask for? Right? Then to then to be your own pop sense culture sensation. I mean, he pops up in Teen Titans, Judas Contract. 
That would be phenom- <sighs> phenomenal to Kevin Smith. I think it would. I think Kevin Agreed. would bring all... Because every episode of any of the DC uh, TV shows that I've ever seen from him, both of the, the Supergirl episodes and both of the Flash episodes, amazing. Phenomenal. Amazing. Phenomenal. Now, it's almost funny because you don't even notice it's him. It doesn't have no. any of his style in it. Not at all. all. But, like... Man, they're such good. Although did, you do, like, I remember the only reason I sometimes notice they're his, and I never noticed until afterwards. Compliments to Jay on this, but they he always cameos Jay Muse, and I never noticed until oh, after the fact. Oh yeah, I read something about that. And he's I in those episodes. He's in every single episode oh, that Kevin Smith directs for the DCU. Awesome. Jay Muse is is cameo somewhere in the episode. That's he's amazing. a villain in one, or, or he's the voice of a villain in one. He's like a random passerby. Like I said, I had to go that's back great, and dude. look and be like, wait, that's Jay Muse, isn't it? Oh, man, not the, the level cats. of interest for DC. The CW Flash cast said oh. Kevin constantly cried happiness when he was directed. Dude, Kevin is just the ultimate nerd, though. That's the best thing about him is that he is so passionate about it, he can take this he movie is, to the heights it needs to be yeah. at. Yeah, exactly. The thing is, he's going to give the movie all of the love that it, and that it needs and not all of the professional catering and, that and let's admit, we need, if we If we're going to have a DCEU Barry, we need... We want. I want a Barry that's more kind of like the comics Barry that has the you know humorous quips and you know. He's but he's a not cool an. The guy. people always forget Barry's not an idiot. You know, he's not. Barry's no, a no, very no. smart he's guy. Not, he's not he, a fool. He sometimes plays the fool, but he is not, he is not a not, fool. No, 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 not, not by not, any means. Not by far. And not to say Wally is, but well, he's a Wally little less fools comprehensive. Around. Yeah, How about he's that? a little more. Jilty. Wally Wally fools around a lot and lets his guard. Wally's a lot cockier than Barry. And this is in comics. There's certain things. There's certain things that just he he. There's and there's reason. It's why and it's why Wally's. Oh, and it depends on where you're at and who, what timeline. Are you Wally's, Wally's the fastest? fastest. Yeah, he's, it depends on which timeline and where you're at. You're right. right. New Fifty Two uh, Barry was faster, faster. again, mm-hmm. but since we've re- been in Rebirth, we don't know who's faster. And in the there's comic, like one picture in a it, Rebirth comic at the very beginning where they're both running and he's slightly ahead of Wally. Yeah, but like, they don't that, even that talk about even, that's like, Yeah, oh, that doesn't well, even count. Who, like, do you ever run somebody right, right next to somebody? Exactly. I'm like, he's probably just giving, Ooh, giving, he's giving space, him the yeah. lead in the space. Yeah. yeah. I really that's, hope that's happening. I Can't think Kevin is writing the script. Really? I really want it. They're talking. Oh, they already confirmed the new Jay and Silent Bob movie, by the way, Susie. Uh, he confirmed that on his page that they are making that and have got it signed all over. From oh, yeah, house. yeah. I, I thought he was talking about the script for uh, no, well, he is Flash. that. Oh, I don't know. He might be writing the script for Flash, but he is writing the script for the other one. The interview he does with Stan Lee is good. Check it out somewhere. I definitely got to check that out. He's done some stuff, but I want to see that. Um, I oh man, I do want to see his. Like, I want to see him in a lot more. I want to see Kevin Smith take reins of the DC. Oh, yeah, just absolutely. Just the way that uh, uh, oh, Kevin Feige is taking wants control. to do it. Yeah, he said he would. They, that's it. He said Give it over no to one's, him. But no one's asking is the point. He said no one's asking him, but he would do it. For Jay and Simon Bob, yeah, you're right, Izzy. Um, like I said, I want the way Kevin Feige is taking control of the direction for the Marvel Universe, I want Kevin, Kevin Smith, Smith to do for the, DC. Exactly. It needs to be this way because it cannot be a small thing as they've proved in the Marvel Cinematic universe, the way to make a strong universe is to make strong independent titles with strong, strong connections. connections. That's the way. The, and, and if you make strong pillars and strong connections, all the rest of that shit fills out. Fill in very perfectly. And I'm down for Aquaman and Cyborg and these other characters to come them. after Justice League. Yeah, to get the movie. But they should have had they, them first. They should have. But, but I'm down for them to I'm, come after they, them. They work. Let, let's look at Doctor Strange, who came after the Avengers. <laughs> Let's true, but he's not in any, but he's not in any group dynamic movies either. That's very true. He, he was going to be in the next. But so what I would say even more is look at Guardians of the Galaxy two. Now, granted, that's an independent film, but that's two films with wildly different characters with no independent structure. So that's like yep. taking that off. That's no Star Lord, that's no Groot, no Rocket movies. None You're of them. just throwing them together. In a group yeah, and so basically, time? instead of having the pillars, you're basically just having these really strong connections. Which is great. Well, and you make your characters well. the pillar, which mm-hmm. is what I think they're doing with the DCEU. You see these strong characters. You see Aquaman. He's not mild-mannered Arthur Curry. 
no, this is Aquaman. This is the Aquaman. Yeah, you're, you're, this is the, not your your baby. Your it's mom, this is not your granddaddy's like Aquaman. I'm telling you. Said he would love the idea of Avengers and X Men crossover. Yes, yes. Kevin Feige is doing good. Yeah, I, and I saw want, that. He says well. he wants to acquire down. all the all rights back, and I want them all in the same place. I, I want. I, I'm down to have them all tied in the universe. Like I, said, I want to see how their take on these other titles. I, like, I want to see, see it so bad. I like I said, bro, well, we're, awesome. we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna see the basis of it though in Spider Man. That's gonna be our first taste at what a MCU Sony, Sony crossover, crossover would look, look like. And then after that, we would just have to get Fox involved, and as long and as hopefully money, they will, because man, Fantastic Four money. was garbage. God, please, please, please give it to one, Marvel. The original please. one was a passable movie. It was this decent, Fantastic, but this one, <laughs> and this F4 was... It was worse than the garbage. Fantastic Four 2, which garbage, I thought was man. garbage. And and the build-up, the build-up build up was beautiful when you first watch it, and you're like, this is actually... Some great even build even up. beyond then, all of the bull crap that like all of the hysteria over the changing say, of the kids. F four is such trash, such trash. Yeah, Dwayne James Gunn talks about Guardians after Volume Three. Sounds like they already know exactly what they're doing, and it's not the Peter Quill team. Uh, they're probably right. Yeah, I mean it's probably not. After three movies, we're not a Peter about, Quill what team do? right now. Yeah, the last F four was, was worse, worse than, than Dragon Ball. Ball. <laughs> So I, I don't I'm, know. That's close, but it is very close. But, but it was definitely in the ballpark of like ooh, oh, nothing's that's Avatar, bad, baby. Oh my god, the last. I Avenger don't know, man. That the, the Dragon Ball Z. Was, ooh, that was bad. But I'm uh, telling you, sheesh, I'm telling you, the Ozaru bad. and Piccolo. <laughs> the Dragon Ball Piccolo Z one almost sets the standard. It, like I said, oh, Avatar, man, Goku going Avatar to high school? screwed up a lot of stuff, but at least they got a lot of the basic stuff. Yeah, right? they, they, they got the water bending and the fire exactly bending. Exactly, all the stuff, but it's like, Goku, man, Goku's in high about, school, man. Everything about them. Man, this, it, like, if you've never seen Dragon Ball Z at British, man, this reminds me of all that time and I was in high school and all the kids were picking on me and, <laughs> and Piccolo was making fun of me or I was Piccolo's slave. And it's just like, wait, did that happen? <laughs> Oh my god. The nineties low savage, budget F four is better. Oh, it is oh wow. savage DH that's savage. savage. He's right though, if you've never seen it. Oh it's dude. I mean what a and it's still shit. It's like literally I couldn't even sit through the entire I, I really couldn't sit through the entire movie and just be like, This is great. I, I literally just halfway through the movie was like, This is god awful. And then when Doom comes out and he's they're like, What why are you doing this? And he's like, Doom. And then I'm just like, okay, so you so have we're not gonna get the we're not gonna get the maniacal spiel from the original. No, the we're not. The there's no one who spiels like Doom does. Hands down, Luther and his dialogue has, was awful. Yeah, and then you can't do that to Doom. Like Doom in the original Fantastic Four, at least had some decent character, great dialogue. character and dialogue. Not even comparable though. The do the writing of Doom in comic books is by far the best villain writing of dialogue ever. Period. Uh, arguments he you can argue with me, dialogue. but the, everybody else takes cues from Doom. Like I said, Lex Luthor. You, you get you get it, name a villain, and I guarantee you know. You pick your favorite villain. They do not spiel like Doom. Doom I'm, is I'm the creator. Thinking Doom about that is, man, and and that's the justice they didn't do. Doctor Doom is absolutely god No more Dragon Ball movies, please. I would watch the '90s more than this piece of trash. I never watched DVDs until after seeing the movie, so. So when, when I, I did, did, I was, I was like, like, what? Loving, loving Infamous. infamous oh, my yeah. God. Yes, DH. It is great. And that's, what we're ta- and that's one of the yes. things we're talking about. The dialogue in that movie is amazing. Dude, and, and and the comic, comic book, Excuse me. Did, have you the, seen, uh, the, did you see the end of Six where he's talking to Ben? Haven't caught up, man. Oh, dude. It's, I, it's, I have not, a quote. Four. You got to ca- catch up because I have a quote coming out from it. Or it's on Damn. here. And he's literally, it's, it's, ben, it's ben Grimm talking to Victor Von Doom, you know, and just in his house, you know, Ben's there and he's, it's like, you know, what are you doing here? You know, I know you're not a normal guy, but you got to know this isn't right. He's like, I'm sorry. I mean, he's like, I, you know, I know you're trying to be good, but whenever I whenever I see you, I think of every, I just want to punch myself in the face. I think of every bad, shitty thing you've ever done to us, every messed up. And Doom's just like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all of it. Every, every mean, you know, every evil plan, everything, you know, I'm sorry. It, it was a, it was such an emotional Piece. Yeah, it was. It was probably the most. Like I said, I I really hope they don't retro Doom back to his old character because this, the character progression of Doom is probably one of my favorite part. Everything that's bad about Cap Hydra Cap right now is good, <laughs> good about, about Infamous. Doom. I'm not even kidding. You, you have to have to check out Infamous Iron Man. He, yeah, I'm on board. And he's still Doom. Like he doesn't understand. Like 
There, there's a part in the new Avengers because he has a crossover as Infamous Iron Man with the new with the Avengers team. Mm-hmm. Uh, prior to Hydra Cap, um, or prior to Secret em- uh, Empire, and there, there's still a point where he's like, "I want to seem non-threatening and 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 un un un." un- Wait, are you trying? To, are you struggling with finding the term friendly? <laughs> <You're> right, <laughs> you're trying to get <laughs> struggling. We go back we to old Doom Q for states. I'm telling you, yeah, I, you, you're see. so right, Izzy. That oh, also Black Lightning looks a bit shit. I don't think it'll be well received, especially since it's not in the Arrowverse. It needs some connection. It needs to be, some because the I mean, problem the with Black Lightning is I love Black Lightning as a character, but I feel like his like fan just, base, yeah, his fan is base just is not just as strong not as strong Flash or Supergirl, and that's why you would have to rope him in, right? That's why honestly, this they is why intro is in it. This like, is why I said characters. why don't they pull? Why are they pulling this bullcrap that they did like Supergirl, which is why Supergirl had such a tough time starting out. Good show, fine show, but Great. it had a tough time starting out because they did not the connect it to the Flash. Arrow. Versus, whereas oh. Flash was originated in Arrow, right? And, and I didn't even know that until later. Oh, really? And yeah, I didn't because I don't. I'm still season one of Arrow. Oh man, uh, me too. Actually, you know, I'm going I, back to it. Susie, Susie has told me I have to watch if it. If they go back, that's still a huge mistake. Yeah, you cannot yeah, go back to the old Doctor. Back. It, it's too powerful. Like, and the greatest thing, like I said, the greatest thing was the fruition of the the entire idea of all right. Doom's quest was always to be. Basically, the ultimate power, like, power. To, yep. and 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 to be the ruler, like, because do and the thing was, Doom was never like even Stanley said, Doom was never a villain, realistically, not in the way that we classically he think of. Actually, said that too. He did. Oh. He said that about him and Magneto. They are not. They're anti-heroes. They are the heroes of their own story. Own story, yeah. You know, and they are then, trying. To if do you go into Magneto, it's even depicted heavier. I would say. I, well, it, it his anti-hero stuff definitely more recently. Although the new Doom. It's is a very, very, so very different. Uh, different. Two episodes a day, Axel? Well, I'll try, all right? I'll it, get it's, on it. It's rough. It I just mean, looked that like first season, though, was dad went not, out fighting crime. I will say this, Susie. It, the first season of Arrow is just amazing. Every I episode have, I'm watching is like, oh, like my God. It. Dude, no, no. Go through it again. I'm you will be go. impressed. I promise you. And, and, and you kind of almost have to put down the gavel of, like, Oliver Queen in the comics. I don't even, not and like that's that the thing, I have no pre, I don't know a lot about Green Arrow, so it's not that Well, that's good, me. because for me, but that I was the struggle for a while. I didn't like the, I didn't like the, uh, I didn't really latest like Arrow was good. I I heard that, Cy, I heard the latest I, I Arrow was great, catch up, the latest Flash. It's going to take me a while, because I, the, it's not that it's bad, I just, I'm not interested at all. Have you like watched the, the latest Flash, though? The, yes, I have caught up on Flash, and, <sighs> and this last the episode, story, yeah, we can't. You can't even. Wait, spoil we're not going to spoil it. Too much. If you're Definitely watching not, the story, but we know what happened. Because I was going back through to catch up on season three, because I hadn't I watched. I binged the- watch a Star Wars. Axel, come on, it's one day. <laughs> yes, I. Congrats to that. Congrats, by the way. but you geez. could not do. Jeez. But you could not do all of the, the Arrow, seasons of Arrow. In Twenty-three one day. episodes a piece. No, no, way. like literally, that's Ew. like one tenth of what, or not one. That's one third of what I have Only forty minutes, but still, that's. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, and no dissing on you, side. I do that once a year. I watch all the Star Wars once a year. So Same. that's. But <laughs> the Arrowverse lie. is way. That's way more content. That's forty-five Flash. episodes. Min- that's forty-five minute episodes. Twenty episodes. Twenty-three. Of- Season. A season, so that's twenty three hours basically minimum. Oh, and we're so that's five one five seasons. That's in one day. De- yeah, that's one day a season. Whereas those eight movies, which are about three hours a piece, are still only up to up, you know. up to not even all of them are only one day. So if I wanted to, I could binge watch one season of Arrow in the time that you can watch one episodes. Day. Dude, yeah, one hundred and fifty. Okay, okay one hundred fifteen. I'm going 20. through a guide. I'm going through a no filler like. Just get straight to the point. Right. And and I, I, I kind of do that, man. But I'm going to go back and watch those but other the, ones. But the real problem, and here's the other problem. Being, I really like Star Wars. I can watch all every Star Wars three or four times. I didn't really like the first couple of episodes of Arrow. It's it's a struggle for me to get through them. But I'm saying those are the worst of the first season. I'll and that's what I, I'm, I got I'm in like episode, episode eight, seven, eight, or nine. Ooh, I'm not no, too I'm far like from that. I'm nine. not that far from that. And I'm still, I don't know. I'll have to get there. Six, seven, yeah, somewhere around there. Maybe get to like 11, 12. All right, maybe what? Because my whole <laughs> like, thing is like, all right, we got this. Because like, yes. from what I know right now, and it's not spoilers because it's super old. From what I know now, it's like, all right, yes, the whole bandit on is. I'm sorry, like I said, once you get to the hardcore stories of comic book people, it's like, all right, you lost your parents and you're a rich kid. 
sucks to be right. you, Batman. Right, right, exactly. Uh, but more than that, all right, then we get into the deeper, there's something, there's a sickness in this city. You know, the whole thing, and I'm just like, all right, we have the secret plot and the killings, and it's like, but that's so good to me. I don't I just, know. It, it kept I don't know. Me I feel like I've seen really it. well. I make you watch them in August. Uh, All right, you'll like you. I'll watch them with you, Susie. Maybe you can. For sure, we'll have Star to- Wars was amazing. I know, and what I'm saying though, Sai, is Star Wars is amazing on every level, and I don't like Arrow, so it's binging a day of Arrow would be like binging a day. It's not a. It's not. Like bad, it's not Jessica Jones bad. And at least, me, and right? at least the Star Wars movies are just one and done. I mean, you're not, you, you don't have to really, you know, well, continue watching eight movies every day. You know, for that's the other thing. Like you said, one hundred. Like you said, episodes. even if, even if it was just, like you said, if it was just, like Sai said, the eight hour, the eight movie binge, the twenty four hour binge, I could probably do a twenty four hour binge and get through Arrow. You could. But I cannot, do a, I cannot do a 115-hour binge. And we'll round down and say a 100-hour binge. Taco that's Bill. like That's like half a week. Jessica Jones, I love. Really? Everyone shaky, loves man. Jessica Jones. I'm so Jones. shaky on Jessica Jones. My little uh, brother literally couldn't get past the really first like episode. I don't he really like loved it. Daredevil, loved Luke Cage, lo- loves The Flash, couldn't get through the first episode of Jessica Jones. My father, down. My father who loves detective uh, shows and NCIS and all these other he could not get past the first two episodes I mean I don't know that's I, it just and it's preference like some people personally like this some people don't what would tacos you say, and arrow yeah what would you say is even reading the comic now because of the show right you, you gotta Jones, watch them uh, in release order yes yeah, so I don't know how you watch them in any other order either you I just want you to get. I'm not crazy about Supergirl, and I'm never excited to watch. Yeah, it. I feel you. Well, Sai. sometimes I, I, that's what I'm is, trying to do with the Arrowverse now. Right, just and and, people. and I want to. That's why I want because I want to know more about the Arrowverse because of its connections. But to if things. Eobard Thawne comes back in season two of Legends of Tomorrow, I, I need like to it. jump on. Right, and that's what. And I think I that's. Love and I think that's Thawne my and problem. And I think that's my problem with Arrow, Supergirl, and Flash. I have a connection. Like I know a lot about Flash prior to watching yeah, the show. Supergirl, the show though is like, it's man, not that it's great. So hard stomach. I'll tell you what, I, I it was easier to stomach for me than Arrow was. Arrow? Fuck yeah. Even than Arrow. See, I've got some green Very Arrow good. background actually. See, but, now maybe and, that's and the craziest but, thing is like he's not like Oliver Queen in the comics. So it's like there's he's pretty much a new character. It, yeah, basically. which is he's why their version of which Batman is why it's and I don't have that preconception at all. The only thing I know about Arrow prior to this was. The very little I knew about him from Smallville, where he was lightly introduced as very, lightly. very lightly as basically a Lex Luthor good guy counterpart, mm-hmm. and then very slightly Which is in comic books. Of the... But I've never read any of his comic books. I only really? get to see oh, him. Awesome dude. Uh, I he seems like a cool character in his short appearance in Justice League. But Arrow is better than SG by far. I'm gonna have to see it. So I far, agree, DH. So far, this. first season, as far as I've seen, I would. Not agree. The black fat my... flash and Eobar Thawne scenes. I imagine comic book readers would enjoy. Yes, yeah. they're good. I watched so they... Man, uh, I do like. Uh, I'll have to face. get. I'll, I'll like go Savitar back and watch. A lot. But Savitar I like the is a great. Thing I just going. don't like how they changed it from the comic book. Well, yeah, they did, but I, you know, that's my thing about I the flare versus couldn't... you just gotta. You gotta I know you gotta go with go the role fresh. Mind. The, I will Same say there's. Awesome. I will say I called the berry or the the berry. The berry, uh, the strawberry. No, <laughs> I called it the strawberry. No, but I called that called t- the thing. episode ten, mm-hmm. probably uh, even sooner. I called it real early. As soon as there was another, oh, speedster, you, when it was episode ten. Okay, I was like, that's not when it happened. But no, but that's when yeah, I called yeah, it. I, I caught like, on oh, pretty early. No, this is okay. That because all I could think about was they were dropping some hints, man. There was a lot of t- first of all, it was a lot of the time travel stuff. Okay, why is the future changing? Who could change the future? You know what I mean? Okay, there's go a watch Flash, guys. Guys, I mean, go watch. We don't want to spoil anything. anything. We don't want to spoil. Yes. Hey, what's up, Los? And it's Thanks crazy. for joining, buddy. We're talking about all you know, injustice, Flash and and injustice, Flash. and all kinds of stuff. The gift like is awesome. You know, I think out. I need to get farther in Arrow. Maybe I maybe I should go read some Arrow comics. And, I'd and like here's it my better. thing about Arrow, man. Is like Arrow. This is the reason why I'm hesitant on Arrow's because of its inconsistency. Like. Season two, I'm starting over with season one to kind of just like get a fresh mind and a fresh start. But like season two was just like so boring. I got four or five episodes in. I'm like, 
Oh my god. That's how I feel like season this. one. I, I literally got four or five this episodes in one and is, I just could not This recent one. Actually, would you guys like us to do a trailer reaction no. to the recent season? Because I want to show it to you and you will be like, wow. Like there's it seemed cool. I don't know, that's the other thing. Him fighting metas and stuff might make it more interesting. Because right now, I never got past him killing bankers and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's all he's doing. That's so boring. Like he's killing it's so people fucking in boring. It's pretty awesome. I think I to just me, got but, to hey, the dead time. So I was so his own. the first five episodes like you're killing bankers. There's literally like no fight. He sneaks up and assassinates people for the basically. And it was like, cool, you're this edgy killer, killer Batman. I, I don't know. I didn't feel it. I just really didn't. I was down, man. I was like, this is looking uh, tight, yeah. bro. <laughs> I don't know. And that's so weird for me. Like, I, I came in, I don't know. Maybe I also come in with too, too, either too high or too low expectations. Uh, I don't know. Shoot, I can't remember which one you it was. You can't compare the sheesh. show to the comics, though. Again, I often walk through Reverse Flash on Twitter. Law. He always responds to fans. I live tweeted with him during an episode. Wait, which, which reverse, reverse flash? flash? Are you talking? Twitter? Are you talking Eobard Thawne flash? Or are you talking uh, Harrison Wells, Wells flash? Wells, yeah, in reverse flash. Because we got two different iterations. reverse flash. Just watch actors. the Deathstroke ones, the crossovers, and start on episode five. What? Yeah. Uh, so I actually, if you can send some recommended episodes, that'd be awesome. That that might help me out because oh, man, it was reminding me so much of. Is there a reverse Flash Twitter or something? Or maybe there is. Eobard, you can't Eobard. compare the show. So the actor that played Eobard. So, uh, what's his Twitter handle? I would, I would, it would be his name probably. Yeah, and I do not know. I don't know is. the actor's name who plays Eobard, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I know which one he means. He means the Walker the back guy that, that, that yeah, plays Eobard. Eobard. Yeah. yeah. Um. But the the flare verse, my thing about it is you just gotta open mind that sucker. It is. It's just, I don't know. Even the flash, even like going back, even the flash, even the a, flash going back individually, the flash episodes are all pretty good. Oh, As pretty a consistent. season, you can be up and down sometimes. I mean, what do you think of this recent one, man? The recent season, the actual writing, total shit. The reveal, good, but the actual writing to go up to. Ah. Even now, even now, he's at this point. Oh, where do you mean like, like the writing for the buildup or the entire season itself? For the buildup, okay. Because I was gonna say the most season of the itself season is great even, to me. I don't know. Even but most of the season. All right, so down. we got, we got. I don't know the whole lead up. Like you said, there's so many options that we've already seen. There's plot holes and lines. It's like, else? okay, how do you stop Savitar from killing? The, especially at the most recent know, episode. Right, it was right. like, well, oh, maybe well, it's like they could have switched up settings. They could have done anything. They could have pulled. Sorry, the, I got really they pissed off about that. Season one, Eddie, and the, you know what I mean. You know they what I'm talking about. Anything. They could have done. I'm just so pissed at the writing there. <laughs> I mean, like, even Blake could have done it. Last episode, you know what I mean? That was awesome. That made all the rest of the season it made it amazing. up and down. Because, like I said, the beginning of that season good and then you got kind of somewhat meandering but that's the problem with 23 episode seasons yes it is, is there's and we've meandering got, especially if you don't have the, the plot middle. to fill it yep, they're just not just they're meandering. not coming up because we have how many side episodes that realistically are zero relevance 19 to the, the one before the what just happened was kind of a filler when barry you know yep, yep. Yeah, we, yeah, well spoil today. i don't know what's going on right. and it's just like <laughs> Like I said, did you really need that though? Like it was funny, it was fine. It's just like why? why it's just why, like why? Gotham. Facebook Meander. shut down. Shut. Flash has a lot of plot holes, and it that's does. and that's why I'm saying individually and as a general image depiction, great depiction of the Flash. Did you general. see in the recent episode, Cheetah pops up on yeah. uh, one of the little um, beads, beads or whatever? Or whatever. Yeah. yeah, like one of their streets. where it's like, oh yeah, this out like, in what? blah 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 city. You know what I mean? I love that, and that's what we need to see more of. That's what makes, we're seeing, that's what makes a media universe stick together is Easter connections. Eggs, connections. Yep, strong. Because that's what Marvel does better than anyone, hands oh, down. Oh, yeah. Easter eggs. So many Easter For, eggs. I mean, everywhere. Uh, the, and you never see them all. You have to have them Did point everybody out. see that Kevin Feige said that the movies and television are gonna cross over yes i did i'm I was so like, happy. okay i'm down for that I'm i told down. i told you everyone would be down with flash him. aggravates me sometimes you it, mean him or the show both, like because I, I was gonna say <laughs> both of them aggravate the me, flash uh, is in general a little bit of an aggravated character because all of the flash problems are oh, self-inflicted it basically. is and like all the flashpoint stuff i'm like really dude Really, I mean, yeah, I was like, Flash he didn't Point even have to. Yeah, he just screwed so much. Just but like, even before God Flashpoint, it, Barry. even before Stop Flashpoint, it. like Flash's biggest weakness is cockiness, confidence. You know, being so fast that he's not 
take me in. Well, like Thanks. I said, I, and that's one thing I liked about it during the Arrow crossovers was like, you know, do you ever take a minute to scope out the situation and right. see what's going on or trans? It's like you have the speed to. You oh, could. she said Why the don't show. You? The yeah, show. and some of the so characters, but even the really Flash, trust me, the me Flash himself it annoys me quite. Oh, a bit. even you got to read issue twenty two. I pissed at him. Oh uh, yeah, in Rebirth, the end of the Button series. I don't want to spoil it. I'll be doing a spoilers thing for my website channel for where basically I do instead of our big spoilers, I we do really spoiler tiny. segments on Comic Con balls the spoiler seconds on our own. Yep, and the and seconds are just small. Usually about a minute, yeah. 60 seconds or so. I want to see the original timeline before RF killed his mom. Well, I mean, that's that is the original the timeline. The point is. The way, that's yeah. that's the, the problem being... So the way it works with that, Sai, is in the comics, uh, the reverse Flash, he exists kind of ooey-gooey outside the timeline. Yeah, he can, he, he, got, he keeps getting trapped in, in different... Well, not like, even just that, like timelines, but he... What did he call them? They're, uh, paradoxes. Paradoxes, yeah. He keeps getting trapped in different paradoxes. But, but even more than that, like he seems to escape paradoxes with no trouble at all. Exactly. If he's killed, doesn't matter. If he was made to never be born... Doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. He gets if trapped If he was somewhere absorbed else. into the st- speed force, doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Like, he always he pops seems up. pretty untouchable. What's up, Asia? Until See this ya. newest... Uh, if you, I don't know if you saw the spoil- any spoilers on any of the buttons stuff but man i, I don't want to spoil if you it told me but let's not yeah spoil i don't want to spoil it on here that's where black thing. flash comes in though it is true but even like you said he's been killed in the comic books by black, by flash. black flash he's back yeah he's been he's killed by barry all the twice time. in the comic books he pops he actually pops up in injustice too i mean he just keeps on popping up he's, he's i need to hear leo do the jim gordon impression oh my god <laughs> freaking jim gordon so it's another main character and these main characters are built to make you annoyed by them at times like they have flaws and they're depicted very openly unlike some of the side characters like jim oh jim oh he tries to have a batman voice i'm jim harvey we need some help harvey (laughs) harvey 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 Harvey. Harvey. lee (laughs) where is she (laughs) where is she (laughs) Oh man, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jim gets on my nerves quite a bit in God. Uh, like, oh my goodness, don't even he just that. makes terrible decisions all the time, and but, that's why I they mean, made I Batman. They talk, it's, we talk about it, though, and that's like a plot thing in almost all film and television. You have to have stupid characters. You do, and not. But and the, the problem being, you shouldn't be your main character. No, but that, but this is not the problem for me. the The reason why I'm rolling with it is because it builds an urgency for Batman to be there. Jim Gordon is not enough for Gotham. Let's just admit we it. Know off that the bat, I, off the rip. Here's my problem. He arrests people. I'm not. I'm every, Jim. Everyone's so excited to get to Batman. I don't want to get to Batman. Because when we get to Batman, Gotham's done. Uh, I'm not I, right. I, it's going to be so I, hard I'm, to continue I'm that so series. I'm so excited with Batman. I, I almost what I think, it's it's, so and this difficult. is just my theory, and I've read a couple others that are about the same. Correct me if I'm wrong, whatever. I believe that uh, Gotham... It's going to depict him. And, of course, the next season, they confirm he's going to depict him actually starting the training. I think it's going to depict him at those very early stages of Batman, and, and then he's going to cross over into the um, Flareoverse a little bit. I don't know. Especially, I really, I, I'm, I'm excited I, to I'd see I'd like to see it, but I don't think they're going to do it. Because my thing is, especially the way they've structured this show, there's no room for Batman in this show. Once Batman's in, in this show... In Flareover? Oh, oh in, in Gotham. Gotham. Yeah. Not in the Flareover. Now, they might now finish Gotham and go directly into another show to cross with the Flair. That's, that's what I was maybe saying. Maybe like a Gotham, not, Batman. Gotham's Batman not going to continue once Batman pops up. No, and out. that's what I mean. I, and that's what I'm... Like I said, everyone wants to see Batman. I've seen Batman. I want to see all these the build-ups. Build ups. Yeah. Right. I, I'm excited to see Bruce Train, but I don't want to see that's him what I'm excited. Batman. But that's what I'm excited for. I'm, I'm excited not, to see the development. Because once we see that the transition... No, no, no. But I'm, I'm excited for the development. The development, That's yes. what I'm excited for. What, like I said, but the, the ultimate fruition of becoming Batman is not exciting for me because I know what You Batman know what it is. We know what it is. We exactly. Read, I want to see all I the little see the tiny things in between. Like, yeah. What, what tiny steps does he have to go? Where does he fall? In that's what I want to see right. for a couple seasons, And that's what I wanted man. to see. Yeah, that's what I thought Gotham was going to be in the first place. Until yeah, the yeah, first right. season, and then the first season, I knew, oh, no, this is Kind of laid it out, movie. yeah, in, in its but format. Definitely. Do you think they put a smaller and sh- uh, shittier oh, Superman and Supergirl to not accidentally make him better received than Cavill? 
Yeah, no, uh, I wouldn't say that. I would no. say that they just. I think the, they did the so the emphasis it would be important. Is, Yeah, I was gonna say the emphasis is on Kara. It's not on Cal. Right. If they had brought in Cavill or a, even a more intimidating Superman, a lot of the focus gets pulled away. Shifted. Exactly. And, and it's it, like and Supergirl has enough trouble on her own maintaining a coherent character true. presence and spot and spotlight in her own show. Exactly. I, 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 I should you not. A lot of her villains, in my opinion, grab you a yeah, lot better like, than her. Um, but yeah, so it was just to emphasize the fact that she's the main character and he's just a side guy. I mean, you know, he, well, it's just not his story. It's not his story. Although I would love, like I said, I, would, I love Smallville because of what it did was not a good show. Smallville? Not, the the ideas oh, in the show, yes, they brought in Aquaman. They brought in the Flash. Oh, I did not like in, it at all. Oh, I loved when they brought in other characters. Those were the best episodes of of exactly. Superman. I mean, of Smallville, though. Smallville as a show, uh, well, well, it had an inexperienced uh, actor. But, you know, as much as we say that, it made it It made it nine seasons. If they put soups in SG, they'll, run, they'll ruin the show. Exactly. And that's fair enough. Before I go, how come Supergirl is faster than The Flash if you haven't seen that episode? I've seen it, and that's a, it's a subjective thing. It is. And I don't think... Even in the know, comic yeah, books, it's, like, it's always subjective as to who's, who's, who's faster. You know, and and it depends on writers. The only... The only this, that, and the other. The only place where it's been shown is, like, conclusively that The Flash was faster than Superman was in Flash Rebirth, the actual Rebirth, Flash Rebirth, quote, quote, not Flash... Dot dot reverse. <laughs> it's not. Are you talking about the sto- the storyline? Right. Rebirth, the, not the new. Right. Not. Fresh. I know it exactly. Yeah. Not the new it rebirth. Out, thing. Yeah. Correct. And yeah, like I said, I checked it out recently. That's the only one where he's shown as definitely, definitely faster. faster. They, and he talks about it. it's like we've re- had races before, Barry. I even won some of those. Those races were for charity. For charity. Part. Yeah. It's and like, he like, like oh, he's gone. gone. It was great. Uh, just putting this out, Dark Crystal. Oh, I did see the Dark Crystal uh, is coming back. I saw the uh, Netflix series. It's going to be a prequel series, right? Mm. Is he? Uh, That's the fastest she'll be. Barry is still new and will get faster. Theoretically, with that. yes. Theoretically, Unless yeah. they got to train more. Gets faster. The yeah, thing is, so. the thing is, even now in the comic books, Flash is always getting faster. Like he's never reached. He's at the. the he's at like ten percent of his potential. Not even. I would. I would uh, fair to say he's pushing a little bit of like 30 40 but like i i, think, I don't know i the, think he could get better because like think about how how fast he's not going i don't know theoretically and let's be theoretical if you he go by theoretical track, experience though. yeah that's yeah, i was gonna say faster that's than fast. that's faster than barry but he doesn't been. consistently do that well, mm, no well, barry never travels through time yeah without i was the cosmic gonna say yeah, because, only wally in the reverse flash can travel, can travel through time, time like that and i was and i was talking i was thinking in my head in the comics i'm like there's never really an instance he where he's always traveling well, back right he does accidentally though but we've seen barry purposefully travel through timelines and in, in this so in show the, in the show he, he goes can, back to 1892 to like, grab snart yeah no see it and in the comic books even now even during the button saga he has to rebuild the treadmill in order to, tra- to travel to, back to control where yeah, he travels. He crazy. can travel through time, but he can't control it. I have no clue, LOL. I recommend the comic, though. It just came out this year. I'd say he's at least 40% by now. He's at least percent not even... Yes, he's definitely not... He's, he's like, not said, like he's, 80, he's never 90. depicted as, his flash, as fast as he is. In the show. And I will agree, Rebirth is like the best depiction of that when he's just like, oh, guess what, Clark, I was messing with you the whole time. I can definitely run quicker. Well, well, and they talk about it. The reason Splashes don't run faster is they run themselves directly into the Speed Force and out of existence. And that would suck. I mean, nobody it, wants to just die. No. and they do- oh, I, I think the fastest we'll talk about the went in the button. show like 500 MPH. No, he's definitely gone. I would say faster than that. If Wait, he's no, he said 5,000 MPH. Oh, oh. Okay. 5,000 might be accurate. Might be about right. I Guys, said 500. don't try to talk to some good hard to hear. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. That yeah, does happen. We we're, try we not. Just, we nerds. We nerd about. We nerd about about it. We're passionate. We, I said we were not scripted. We're all live. Yep. Answer you. Thank you though, Vincent, for the comment and the suggestion. Let's see. Uh, fastest. Flash has been in the. Yeah, I, show. I just want to see how fast he's been in the show. No, I, I definitely agree. And in the because in the comic books, it's never well depicted, especially because speed is relative in the way we understand speed to the speed of light. Mm-hmm. The way Here we, we go. This everything. looks like a decent one. Movie pilot. Generally, they have really good references. Yeah, movie pilot's pretty good about doing their stuff. 
Um, my recovery rates are from heat. Is growing exponentially. 300 miles per hour when well, he first way. runs. Yep. When he first ran. Then Mach 1. Then when he unravels the tornado at 700, which which is basically Mach 1. Yep. It's a little, it's which a little less sad than than this. Mach 1 is equal to the speed of sound, 761. Flash In the season finale, 800. he says they're mock, passing Mach 2, which is 1,500 miles per hour. Mach 13.2 is his top speed for now. Where does it say that? It's vigorous training still to make it because of the second Whoa, season. Reverse speed. zoom. He went four times faster than ever with Mach 13.2. I didn't think he went that fast, but okay. Mach, he might. Well, they have that at the tachyon device, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that was he did. Say, they did say he went super fast. He like doubled his speed. Or that something was with the device, it. right? With the tachyon, guys. Oh yeah, that's that was with the tachyon device. Um, which Mach fifty? What? Oh, this is just a reference. I run away down the source at the bar much higher. Mach fifty doesn't sound like it's impossible. Hmm. So about thirteen point two seems like it's his top. Um, also, Mach 50 would definitely not be impossible. <laughs> right, not for him. I mean, well, just not physically impossible. It, it's the flash or channeling speed light. force can approach, if not past the speed of light in the comics. Wally once broke the speed of light. Oh, well, we're talking about Barry, so. Wally, like I said, has been. If you count depictions, Wally is something. He's but been it, depicted it, more as faster than he, he has, has. But, and here's where we get into it what speed really is, especially for the way it is relatively mm-hmm. to time. That the Flash, once you go faster than the speed of light, that's as fast as you can go. Everything, because once you go faster than the speed of light, that's the other thing they don't talk about that. He couldn't have yet technically done that. That whole scene's bullshit. If you go faster than the speed of light, you travel backwards in time. That's how it works. That's what a tachyon is. If you go and look up what a tachyon is, you nothing in physics can go faster than the speed no, of light. No, I, I completely agree so with you So a tachyon is already sense, moving but in reverse. But we're that's just, seriously in this fictional universe. Right, and so we have speed to... Of, speed of light, past speed of light as like, oh, you're still not enough to time travel. And you gotta, it's almost it's like so, you have to factor in those things that they... There's, well, and that's not even act, doing technically that. why the tachyon is... Uh, yes. Because when he was running with the tachyon, he should have been going through time technically at that point. The thing about, so what the, ta- and that's why the tachyon is a totally theoretical physical particle that, like I said, the, the, the basic hard law of physics as we understand today is nothing goes faster than the speed of light. Period. And in fact, when things begin to approach it, physics gets wonky. wonky. Yeah. But in order to theoretically. Outside. With the tachyon, he, he goes, goes four, four times, times faster than he's ever been. been. Nice. X Men Q is crazy fast. Oh, thank oh, you, Susie. See you, Susie. We might be around a little bit because we did start casting late, so, yep. we'll, so we we'll might be around that. for a little. Bit. Um, yep, we'll see you, Sai. X Men Q S is crazy fast. He's not that fast. He in the comic books, in the show, he's depicted as being way faster than Barry is ever p- depicted. Period. In, in the the movies or even the t- the movies we've seen so far, as depicted from. I mean, but Flash in, is gone. In but Quicksilver in the com- but Quicksilver in the comic books is not shit. No, he can't even. Not, break- he, he can't touch. Barry. He barely breaks the sound barrier sometimes. Or so, like his oh, speed varies. Really? Oh yeah, his yeah. speed varies incredibly. So that's not even fast. No, they they talk about Black Bolt can catch up to him. I'm like thinking about the whole Barry running with the tachyon device now. <laughs> what happened to that device in the show? Couldn't he just put that on again? I think it's charged out, and also he would still. The way they were showing Savitar, he's infinitely faster. Very fast. Faster. Oh, my well, God. Well, the way they're showing it is that that Savitar, when he ran with the tech, he actually went to Super Ghost. Oh, Earth. yeah, that's right. He oh, went to Super Ghost. that's Earth. right. So he did travel through dimensions. dimensions. And that's what Savitar seems... He talks about it. Even from my perspective, it looked like we were... You know what I mean? Going from place, place to, to place. place. To like, place. We were never, and even when they first see Savitar, he's like... Popping up on the map, just like the dot is just. Oh, like that's like yeah, that's where he's dragging him, yeah, fucking around the city and just messing him up. But he even said he's in Savitar is actually moving so fast, no one can see him. No one right? can yeah. see him. Like he's just Very constantly too fast to see, mm-hmm. which is, which is how the radar depicted it. The dot was just popping up, yeah, in when he, spots. But yeah. it definitely, the, the whole tachyon thing, like I said, it's, it's hard because the way attacking tachyon works is actually not at all. It never it, passes it, the speed of light. It constantly exists at a speed faster than light. But then you almost question, because of that, attacking only works in reverse polarity. 
tachyons naturally move backwards through time because they are faster than light naturally. Oh, okay, so then it starts going into time? Yeah, it's... it's moving it's, backward and not forward? Yeah, it's because a tachyon... That's why it can exist. Nothing can pass the speed of light in mm -hmm. either direction. But theoretically, that's what I said, they don't even know if tachyons exist. They can't prove if they exist Period. yet. They, they might one day be able to, but because theoretically they exist at a speed faster than light, they naturally, as a particle, travel, travel backwards. back because they're in, right. That's just faster. their natural flow. And so while time travels, Avatar could only do that when he was in the Speed Force. He can't do it now. Uh, I mean, hmm. that makes sense, I guess. But even so, he's still depicted as way very fast. Than very. Oh my goodness. And, um, like he wipes the floor with him. I mean, it isn't even a fight. Moving a little bit in the few more games. Ooh, I mean, we got Friday the thirteenth, Friday the 13th coming, coming very soon. It's coming up, guys. Uh, if you have a couple weeks, it, isn't it? Like maybe the not, two, maybe the Tuesday next Tuesday. Like not this upcoming one, but yeah, the, the one after, after that. Yeah, I, I think so. Sense. Actually, the but new yeah, Tekken looks Tekken looks good. amazing. The uh, Spyro rumors I've heard, but I haven't seen anything substantial. I know Crash like, Bandicoot is Crash Bandicoot's getting remade. Yeah, we talked about that last. So it's not impossible. And then if you guys haven't checked out any of the previews on that Friday the Thirteenth game, it's actually similar, very similar to another game. Uh, I'm trying to. You remember. were speaking about that a couple weeks ago. See. I can't uh, remember which game you had referred to, but. Friday the 13th, I mean, seems like it'll be a really good no, game from what I saw. It's... Man, Savitar, though. Good, vil good villain after the reveal, guys. I mean, if you've seen The Flash and you've seen at the uh, Savitar's reveal, Dead you know by what we're talking about. Amazing. Dead by Daylight? Yeah, nice. and so basically it's a type of game called a manhunt game. Where you're the searcher, and it's a search and find. I have play. played that. Actually. Yeah, and I've yeah, and that's pretty that's much exactly what that like, one's gonna uh, be. Yes. It's gonna be the exact same thing, but with uh, Jason. That'll be awesome, man. I don't know how they're gonna do it. He needs a suit to absorb his energy or whatever, so I'm not sure. Because when they fight, it's kind of close in speed. I mean, kind of close in speed, so it's weird. But then again, he was never gone. Killed Barry, so he's probably toying with it. And no, he's never. Gonna yeah, that's it. the thing is, it, it's the fight between uh, future Barry and re old Reverse Flash. He couldn't kill Reverse Flash in season two. Remember when yeah. he like when he when he sees him, he does another time travel thing and finds, finds Reverse Flash reverse and knows flash and he's like, oh, yeah, he can't kill the, the Barry counterpart. Right, right, he can't. He's like, oh my god, and and just like Reverse Flash couldn't. He, you know, because he didn't know, couldn't kill him because he thought that was how he had to win. Exactly. It, it's a, it's, it's a, crazy that there's technically or, in that timeline there's three berries now popping up in that all scene. the time, all over. Yep. It's it's like wow. So you got the first original berry. You got the berry co goes back crying and closes the door, and then you have the berry that stops the bear the flashpoint. Yep. Well, you don't even have that in the show because flashpoint just happens and now it's just going on. He doesn't even stop Barry. Yeah. That's right. But you do, you have the future Flash, you have, actually, you should have the Flash in there, because he, he would have the original, <laughs> yeah, this, this is my time travel, it's, it's so like, stupid. damn it, Barry, <laughs> God, damn it, Barry, stop making me do math. Oh my goodness. But it's definitely that kind of catch, side. it's the same kind of catch between Superman and Injustice, it's like Superman versus Batman, even if Supes didn't have all these fucking, they, they actually took away a lot of Supes benefits with the super pill or whatever. Yeah, yeah, because that Supes pill even was taking, But even taking out that fact, like, the, the willingness to kill raises lethality. Like, and no one wants to admit it, and everyone's like, oh, well, that makes the heroes better because then they have to learn it. Realistically, the person with no options is going to win. win. That's how yeah. variables work. And, you know, <laughs> it, it, I mean, if, if you don't have the option to kill, you're limited. If you have to pull blows, uh, uh, reading reading the current Superman, Batman, period. I mean, he well, can kill anyone in one single punch, and he doesn't do it because he's holding back most of the time. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, he could blow at you and kill you. you know what I mean? Boom, yeah, I mean, he's been known to blow planets out the way in, sil in Golden Age times. Oh, yeah, Golden Age. Oh, man, Golden Age. Golden and Super <laughs> Silver Age suits are just mad. They're, they're some of the most broken. Like I say, there's very few characters I that could stand up to him. Granted, he <laughs> yeah. has limited uh, the weaknesses back then and wasn't he it. wasn't he just like an enhanced human in the very early in versions? the very well that's the thing if how far back you with so if you want to use golden i'll go back to original superman who couldn't even leap over tall buildings nope uh, people Let's like i said i saw i saw a post and it was like aquaman versus this this is like namor is just an aquaman rip i'm like uh you know 
Name, I love the comments because people comment and check these people. It's like, uh, you know, Aquaman is based off based of Namor. Off of Namor. And then yes. below that, someone went even a step further. Namor was flying around while Stoops was still trying to jump over tall buildings. And I was oh, like, oh. man, that's awesome. And at that time of uh, their meeting, uh, I don't know about creation. No, because Namor is old as hell, too. At the time of their creation, Namor would have been much stronger than Superman. If you go by creation Oh, stats, yeah, if you go by the time they started. When, when Namor was created, he was super strong and super fast and super durable and, and, and to do so much I mean, more. I mean, Namor used to regularly everything. throw down with the Hulk. There you go. And and Supes couldn't even get that close. He needs to see him. Yeah, 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 I just hope he doesn't go into the Speed Force and we don't see him for the first three or four episodes of the Speed Force. I feel like he has to keep himself from being... Ooh, sigh. Spoilers, dude. Spoilers. Spoilers. Keep I mean, that we down. know, but there's right, well, gotta, there's not that many people in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> but for people who watch it later, we got yeah, we, we got to keep gotta that be down. A down. But no, thank you, Sai. We we agree. The the, the we want to see. We got to seek some time. I don't know what they're gonna do now. They they've put themselves in a corner that's very hard to crawl crawl out of, in my opinion. Are you talking about the show? Yes. Yeah. They. We we gotta see what happens next episode. I don't think what happened is like the definite ending, though. I don't. Think no, that. there's well, there's gonna keep that. No, there's still though. got a. Because I forget that wasn't the last episode, right? Then they have another. They one. have one more. We yeah. have one more left. So and they're gonna I, do they're something. Gonna re- th- you know, gonna you know what's gonna piss me off is they're gonna bring back Iris, and it's not gonna fucking matter at all. Don't spoil. Not too much. Spoiling. I haven't seen it. Huh? I haven't seen it. I'm just saying they're just, gonna. Yeah, I mean, that's what they're gonna do. That's not know, a spoiler. That's a prediction. Okay, that's a prediction. Fine. You know they're I'll gonna let, do. I let that one slide. Because it's not. Gotta... It's not like I saw got a, a early screening. You know what I mean? I know. I'm just saying trying, it is a bit of a trying spoiler. to keep it. Trying to keep it spoiler light. We're gonna have to be spoiler. We're trying to be very spoiler light so we can save it for our shows. Yeah, the more absolutely. stuff we have for those. Spoiler, spoilers. spoiler. There's seconds. gonna be tons of them. I got one coming out for stuff. the new Dragon Ball Z episode. Nice man. Got new. I got one. I'm gonna make. Well, I got the Guardians I'm, one already. So yeah, you got that. Cool. That'll I'm come out tomorrow. The Gotham so. one. I got. A, I actually got the Gotham one finalized. I'm just nice. Do a little bit of editing. Um, doing a Flash one. I'm gonna catch up on Legends of Tomorrow so I can actually start doing that. I will too. If yeah. Bar Thawn is back, I'm definitely. Down. I'm, I think I'm just gonna try to stay meeting, con- especially. Well, I'm, I'm trying to stay caught up with too, the yeah. Arrowverse now. My I'm just comic books to... are a big one too. So like that's the other one. This week, Superman was super nice. Yeah, like, that's good. It was a hear. huge reveal. Nice like bringing in of an old character stuff. Mm. Uh, who's back? Uh, Manchester Black. That's an old ass character, dude. Yeah, but probably uh, one of the only characters that's a decent villain for Superman. Yeah. I mean, as far as durability Man, just and... Uh, Holy. I know. Uh, how long has it been? I haven't heard of... <laughs> they didn't even mention <laughs> Manchester Black in the cartoon series. Yeah, like I... Wow, dude. Like, Manchester Black gets... I'm trying to even think of the last time I heard of him, period. <sighs> Let's see. Let's go type it in and see the last the last appearance. Sometimes feel like they only write the episodes right before they shoot them. It's not planned out. Yeah, like the last Man. episode. Yeah, that. Mm-mm. Oh, apparently he does show up in something. Apparently he's an anime movie. Superman versus the elites. I don't oh, remember this what? one. Click on that. Versus the elite, not the elites. Okay. Two thousand twelve. Well, that's one that zoomed over my head, actually. Yeah, that went right over. It's 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's not bad. Yeah, that's a decent But if movie, we, right? if you, for those who don't know about Manchester Black, we'll give you a simple overview. Um, he's a telekinetic telepath uh, who can use very precise telekinesis. He was able to give Superman the equivalent of a stroke by telekinetically pinching the blood vessels in his brain. Whoa. He's also able to create very detailed illusions on a vast scale and telepathically control thousands of minds at the same time. While controlling Bizarro and Silver Banshee, he was able to temporarily grant them enough sanity to enable them to communicate and to form plans. He's also wow. able to switch Superman and Bizarro's minds, putting their consciousness into each other's bodies. Technically so he speaking, has mind he, manipulation, right? Which is basically shits all over Superman. Yeah, anybody with Pitching psychic powers, the blood vessels in his brain. Oh yeah, that stroke. they've actually done that. Uh, they did that in Injustice, actually. Well, the Adam, Green Lantern for does that. Oh yeah, they do that too. Remember, I can't. Remember I thought you meant traveling as super, super. No, no, no. Brain. But they have the like, Adam Brain thing, dude. But even in the original one, they have what's his name. All of you like to think big. I like to think small. Like the neurons <laughs> shooting in between your brain stems. It was great because he's like this tiny little character. And it's like, I, 
And he basically, uh... I can control people from the inside. Your brain is mine. <laughs> no, but seriously. And so Manchester Black is this incredibly powerful character that basically is a great suit set for Superman because, like you said, with the thought, he gets Superman's at his Superman Superman's and, almost on his knees. And, and even thoughts. if not, let's say if not, mind swap, suddenly he's in the mind, body of Superman. That's a that's an insane power. That he is. could just beat himself. The telepaths are Superman. telepaths are very rarely written in the DC universe as compared to the Marvel universe. It sounds like they do it quite a bit better. No, well, they do an interesting job. I I will say, but that they don't have enough of them, and because of that, characters like Supes run rampant. Let's see. We got a question. Who was it that magician guy on Flash mentioned? Was it Devils? Oh, no, Devos. So. Devos is from. I think it was Davos. I think it was Davos. Yeah, I was who was like, the magician? What? Who was it? That magician guy. What magician guy? Which? Yeah, wait. Was this on the recent episode or? Which magician one are you talking guy. about, Sai? Just curious. Magician guy. Oh, that's an Arrowverse one. Well, I mean, Arrowverse is now. Does he mean the al stuff. alchemy? Oh, is it alchemy? Is that who he's talking about? Because that will be tied to Savitar. But somehow. still, Devos. I don't know. That one's above my head, so I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. Or were? Or are you talking? Is the guy he mentioning a magician guy? In which case, the only magician guy I can think of is the original Zatanna. Yeah, I'm just like, what? <laughs> I don't no, know. I don't know about. either. That is a messed up picture of Abba Kadabra. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, ah. That is messed up. He looks like a ghoul. <laughs> Zatanna and Constantine? I mean, I can't really think of. No, there's not that many magicians. Google it. We, we just, we're trying to. I can't remember the name. Yeah, the guy. Oh, oh, no. He's. uh, No, it's Abba Kadabra he's talking about. Like, he's talking about the guy from the future who used future tech. Yeah, that's Abba Oh, Abba Kadabra. Abba Kadabra. Who okay. did he mention? I don't knew who Savitar was, but wouldn't What's tell that? Barry. Well, I guess he would. Um, but he's actually a very integral character to the Flash storylines. He's a huge Flash villain, but more so a kid Flash villain now for lo for a long yeah. time. Especially after the results that New Fifth or Rebirth, Rebirth basically game. revealed that Abracadabra had erased. Uh, Wally West from the timeline and from everyone's oh, memories. that's right. And yeah. that's how he's like back now. Yeah, well, was, that's how he got stuck in the Speed Force and now he's back because mm -hmm. he got... And there's been like a 15-year chop-off or yeah, something. Yeah, it was like, some huge, It's huge crazy. Numbers. Everybody he said Barry's greatest younger. enemies was RVF, Savitar, and mentioned someone who we haven't seen. Devos. Devos? Was it... He sure was Devos. The Flash Devos. I think we're only going to get Sanitary Devos. Devos. Uh, yeah, these are all about sa Sanitary oh, yeah. Devos. Yeah, well, Comics, that? maybe? Or, yeah, I think so. Well, yeah, uh, he's talking about the, the next show. big villain. Ooh, let's see what they have to say about this. Well, when was that published? 328? Probably nowhere old. near Devos. Well, I can't remember. <laughs> okay, so, see, I don't know. Yeah, if you don't exactly know the name, I wouldn't about, be able to... Yeah. I don't know who he mentioned on that one. Hey, Susie, welcome back. Susie. Welcome back. We're, we're on a little later today because we started late. We also didn't show our prizes this week. No, we got a couple of prizes actually this week. Some Batman themed stuff. What we do you got? Fronts, right? hmm? Yeah, front, just the yeah. fronts. We got this Batman here. We also got uh, Batman Legends of the Dark Knight. These are super nice. good. You guys got to check these out. A lot of yeah, these are a couple really of them. Great. Got this one with Strange on the cover. Oh, oh yeah. Super nice. Oh, yeah. And Batman, Dark Knight, Dark City. Ooh. So we'll be posting those after the cast. And check them out. One random um, winner is going to get to pick one of these. And go ahead and check out, actually check out any of this Dark Knight. Um, or excuse me, this one here. Uh, any of this uh, Legend of the Dark Knight. Really good one. Really good series. That, definitely. Any of the Dark Knight series is probably probably one of the best runs on Batman ever, period. Um, not saying it's the best, but definitely one, one of the best. Of the Speaking of, um, I'm trying to think. The new Batman's pretty good. I will say it's a little stagnant for me right now. They're in a spot I on all of them, all the detectives. I need to get back 
caught up on Nightwing. I need to get back caught up. I need to get into some of these lighter titles. But the problem being, like, I'm still not into lighter Super titles for Marvel. So Man, much. that one is good. That one is going pretty well. I really did enjoy that. that it's got some interesting crossings, too. I love Super Sons. I will say, currently, favorite one? Mine is Green Lantern. Which one? Hal Jordan. Hal of Jordan course. and the Green Lanterns are just... Oh, man. By far, and I, actually the guy from Comic-Con Comics Explained agrees with me on this, is probably one of the best... Is probably the best series currently coming out of Rebirth. I love The Flash. I oh, love these, absolutely. But he even talks about the shout-outs to older to versions older Green of Lanterns. Green Lanterns. Like, there's All shots. That. There's there's so much history. They have Starro reappear in this mm. one. They have Brainiac, uh, oh, have Larfley's Brainiac. combo run. Like, you know, these are two characters. Like, there's so much new stuff, like that combo, and then old references to older comics and Justice League comics. And like, like you said, they, they did a reference to It's just to Star perfectly of. blended in that sense that we get a good dose of what's currently going on. Yep. We get a good retro sense, and then we get a lot of references from other Not just that, stuff. I feel like the impact of this series is by far the biggest the best. one. Not, not even just the best, best but like the, the biggest <laughs> impact. You know what I mean? Like, the impact with all the Superman stuff that's been happening, meh. The impact with the Flash It's not enough to happening. really keep you like, no. oh my goodness. Whereas the, 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 the core basically did a 360 in these last, in this thing. From, from the end of 52 to this is a ridiculous change. Uh, I mean, oh, so the entire core is gone, and then you rebuild the core. You got the yellow, and that's lands, why I call it the best. The I mean, geez, there's so much going on. Like I said, it, it just has huge implications for the universe, for the characters involved. It has great writing. I mean, I can't, I you cannot can't talk this it, up really. To you. I mean, yeah. it's just, it's such a good one. one. It's the best one. It's, 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 it's Devo. Google Devo. Kind of want a Green Lantern TV show that's not animated. Agreed, Mikey. Uh, I need more Green Lantern, and I didn't like the last show Stat. they did. I, I want I want John Stewart though as Green Lantern. Seeing John Stewart as Green Lantern in that comic book, I mean, all it's of the, every single Green Lantern in that comic book is depicted perfectly to their character. To their character. How Jordan is the spirit of, you know, will All power. He, he does what he wants. He does what he feels. He's measured but powerful. Stewart's the application of rigidness you know what i mean he is the core he's he is the Stern, green Lantern core. he is he's in charge he, you know this is what the way it will be and i can't find this and guy gardner out. as always is off running about doing whatever he wants that's guy gardner kyle <laughs> rayner still who the fuck knows but although you saw they brought back saint uh Please don't spoil. <laughs> uh, it's they, I mean, you'd be spoiled anyway because they're releasing his own comic series. So they didn't like bring him back, bring him back, but they're doing his own, his own thing. totes. Axel totes, my goats. So, so just watch, watch the, the Star, Star Trek, Trek Discovery, Discovery trailer. trailer. Ooh, how's that? Mm, what? I haven't seen that one. Yet. Yeah, I haven't either. And I was like, we're gonna watch Pull one right it up. now. Yeah, you're gonna see us do a trailer reaction live. You lucky ducks. No, just kidding. It's when did this go on? Yesterday? Wow. Probably, yeah. It's not past. I'm not a big Star Trek. I, I'm. I still keep up with sci-fi stuff, though. This, I try, but I've just yeah, this one. This one me. I can see easily getting past me, especially because as good as the movies have been, they are not. I don't know. Man. They're not my, the big thing in my opinion. In Star Trek. Uh, Star Trek. Is the, all of them are not that good, but this these recent Maybe. few are amazing. Nice new medium out here. Oh no, see that doing a Where are we going? We have no map. You can't set a course without a star. It's hard to imagine. You've served under me for seven years. Command and burn. I think it is time we talked about you having your own command. To your transport. Fires are few and far between, but they do come. Often such leaders will need a profound cause for their followers to rally around. What am I looking for? Right. Right. Oh, no We've come all this way, Captain. 
it would be irresponsible to leave whatever that is unknown. What have you done out there on the edge of Federation space? Computer, enable igniter. <laughs> Context our feet command. We have engaged the Klingons. You will never learn, Vulcan. Your tongue is too human. I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save all of you. Its neck cut off its head. Starfleet doesn't fire first. We have to. My people were biologically determined for one purpose alone, to sense the coming of death. I sense it coming now. Looking pretty worthwhile to me. I was a little thrown by the... 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 That was pretty tight. It was pretty good. Like I said, I just, I have a hard Very time cool. I was latching like, on to the story. To, it, it's, it's weird also that funny there's to like a that Spock-like character. And like, I'm I'm, like, that's uh, what I was wondering. I think that might be Spock's father by the, but I don't know if he was talking to her or the boy, the boy he, was he was with in the with scene. Or whatever. Like you said, you'll Spock never, you'll never learn, and, uh, you know, because your tongue's too human. Seems, that could be to anybody. Seems like at least this first season will be some sort of war, something we haven't seen before. I'd be down. I, I have been doing it. I'm, I'm definitely it's, it's a little more action packed than some of the other. And stuff. here's the funny Star part, Trek and I think this is why I can't get into them, is because now they're basically Star Wars rips. Oh, the current ones, yeah. like the current movies, they even talk about it that the yeah, old they kind of are. They, they just took the Star Wars, lie, it is, and I'm not dissing I'm them, but down to see it in this it kind of setting. Good. Yeah, Dude, I'm, like I'm happy about it, but at the same time, I'm like, this is not a Star Trek film this is like oh, a star no, no, trek no. film it, it's definitely it's Wars. definitely has uh re revamped itself seems like at least this weekend i definitely think that it'll be worth a watch i don't know most sci-fi is pretty decent for me. there's not too many movies i wish i hadn't Which, watched yeah. even really shitty movies i'm like ah, oh man alien looks good speaking oh of yeah tonight shoot man like i said you're gonna have to write that review quick yeah for real so, uh, do we have some announcements for your social media? Uh, I definitely got a couple, a couple things. Uh, you know, with the drop of our Patreon page on Comic Convos, I've also had a lot of chances in the past Sounds couple like you're dissing it, Axel. Uh, me and Susie. And it's yeah. great to be. Ah, I like it. I'm like, finally, a new refreshing way. Like, let me turn on my how, A new refreshing way of Star Trek that we could just enjoy. Uh, Jeez, some of them older ones are so hard. They're so through. meaningful, Ooh. though. There's no meaning to these oh, ones. Oh, man. Like, there were so many subtextual... And, and you, know the, you know the funnier going. part? You know the funnier part is I was, always, I was always a Star Wars fan anyway. Oh, absolutely. So Over track? Yeah. So this stuff, like, I like it better, but I just I feel like it's so not Star Trek. I'm just like... It's not, not Star Trek. Yeah, whatever. I like it's it better. Star Trek. <laughs> but it's like... No, nah, but I watch them and I enjoy them. They're just... They're just not, like... They're not Star Trek. They're created. not Star Wars, man. Yeah. They're not oh, well, no, they're not. Not by far. You know, that's what I, I just want more stories. Cynical much? Uh, no, it's, I'll definitely. I'm cynical as all hell. Um, Very. <laughs> but with uh, with all that coming up, I've uh, had a lot of stuff going on great with uh, My Stuff 3D Productions. We're currently working through a couple different projects, including doing music videos. Uh, we're doing nice. reviews. We're doing how-to videos. Uh, we're currently working through a video game as well as a novel uh, and a bridge series that started and got a lot of the vocal acting Oh, done. have you been doing that now? Yeah, actually, all the nice. vocals have been sent to me now. I just have to do editing. Oh, great. Man. Um, and yes, I actually might be recording. participating in a Sonic the Hedgehog one. Oh, that's as nice. a voice actor. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. That's always a great thing. Uh, in addition to that, we got two shows coming up this week and then nice maybe week. a third one coming up in next month on the 23rd. Uh, this week's ones are at the Mohi Mint Mojito Lounge on Monday for a show with former Strange Music artist. Uh, I forget the name. Mm -hmm. I can never remember his name because I'm not performing this one. I'm just, I just organized everything and then I was supposed to be in New York. They're performing this one. Then the 25th, one of our artists, K-Cup, has a performance at, I want to say, like the Pit Stop Tavern or something. Nice. And uh, you can find both of those events on my website. 
uh, www.3dproductionsinc.com or on our Patreon. If someone else to me. I'll definitely send you some links to those. We've got those. We've, we've just recently released our first spoiler seconds, which is basically the compact version of what uh, we do at, you know, Comic Convos totally. It's it's super tiny. It's it's something you could fit in a in a meme it's on an Twitter. Editor, isn't it? Yeah, it's literally it's got the lead up seconds, which is probably twenty five <laughs> seconds, and then the actual clip is always oh, going to be under a minute, yeah. basically for what for those ones specifically. When we do the spoiler, uh, I believe it was sessions. Those will be longer. We have one of those ready too coming out tomorrow here. Guardians of Guardians Galaxy, Galaxy two. two guys. It's it's huge spoiler. I tell you, you guys do not want to watch this if you haven't seen the movie. It will ruin it for you. Um, imagine G. Ron Ray Lucas and the guy who invented Scientology. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yay, thank you, Susie, for shouting out. Susie's a big supporter on Twitter and uh, YouTube. You can find our stuff on YouTube. Got a new space music video boys. Out. Space boys. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think if there was a third thing. I think there was, but until then, like I said, just check out the shows, and you you can also uh, support what we do. But oh, the Websites up a lot of stuff on the website. You can buy stuff, download stuff for free. We'll have a lot of nice, videos. Man. Eventually, we hope to have be hosting a server there so you can download all of our videos and all of our. That'd be great. Oh yeah, we're we're already getting the little computer ready for it. We got the, the we're missing I think a tiny motherboard and anything like that for the computer. There you go, bro. Mini AR cabinet. But yeah, definitely if you want to check us out, 3dproductionsinc.com or patreon.com slash 3dyoutube.com slash 3D Productions. I mean, Axel Gray 3D Productions, you can find Post me. Post them all, man. Share them all to the comic I'll definitely page. do some sharing. I, I actually got a new music video hopefully coming about Tuesday, I think, nice. that we just shot last week for my song, Honing My Craft. And it's super great. I love the song. It's very kind of a, I mean most of the stuff I've been writing lately is very self-reflective and that's good and kind of about improving and like taking kind of just taking a step back to assess your situation and see what's really going on because everything's not always what it appears to be you know? mm-hmm. and uh yeah if you want to check that out uh, how about you Leo what, what are you uh, got man going on? I got a lot of stuff going on man I'm actually going to be getting a new keyboard and uh starting to do like kind of nerdy covers and stuff because I play piano and that's pretty much my main instrument, so I'm starting a Blurred Blog YouTube channel, and that'll be one of the contents on there. I'm also starting my own Spoiler Seconds 2, which I'm, I'm releasing in Gotham one in a couple days. I might actually release it to our Patreon a little bit early, um, so people that, get some was, access. Yeah, that's usually, and then for those who don't know, our Patreon account, it's basically a Kickstarter for your favorite content makers. You exactly. can come and... Uh, basically as little as a dollar a month you can support me and leo in making these as well as all of our other and supporting the yeah. and plus the prizes as well it's yeah, just supporting it, you guys yeah, right it, back it goes around. directly into prizes we want to eventually make visits out to people's hometowns to do comic con conventions that would be and stuff the to do live main goal but uh yeah going uh, thank you going back into the uh, i'm also doing the blur blog a lot post. more guys i'll be doing post reviews every single monday nice. and i'll be trying to release some new content every friday so definitely check it out at theblurredblog.com. That's T H E B L E R D B L O G, theblurredblog.com. Um, getting a lot of traction on that. I've also been answering a lot of questions on uh, sites like Quora or Yahoo Answers. So if you have a answer about any kind of this content, I can definitely answer it for you. Um, you really, because I've been for those yeah, it's it's really really good promotion, man. I'll definitely because then I can just tag the page because dude, and you know me as far as comic book facts. That's all I care exactly. about. Exactly. And I can easily answer any of these well, and all day long. Anyone who's subscribed, liked our page, or is on the Patreon account knows that or knows that we make comic memes, and for the most part, that's all I do all day, all day long. Hey, thank you, Susie, oh, for sharing the Oh, thank you, website. Susie. Thank you awesome. so much. Yeah, but um, follow the Blur blog. I'm doing a lot, of, and I'm going to be doing a lot of rebranding because I actually am looking for a graphic designer on one of my favorite websites to go to services for, and I'm going to get a logo for... Comic Convos, huh? Talking about Fiverr. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Comic Convos, uh, my own blog, and then also my products coming up. By the way, be on the lookout for that. I won't tell too much. Um, I don't want to spoil right now, but once my newsletter starts, I'll start circulating around a lot more. Um, I'm also working on a new show now, uh, Daily Blast Live, which brings the latest news, um, the latest and most trending news into public conversation. It'll be on Facebook Live daily. You guys can follow it now. It's called daily blast live and uh it's some of the best and funniest content 
We don't do a lot of like politics and stuff like that. It's not really a draft cast like CNN or something, but it's very lighthearted and funny and it's going to be awesome. And I'm actually professionally working for them now. So feel free to check that out guys as well. And Definitely. I also have uh, Monday nights. I'm going to start doing Gotham nights, um, streaming Gotham live. I did in a group last time and it actually went very well. So I think that's going to be a regular thing. Um, but I'm going to try to actually start pushing to do it more on my own pages and on this one as well. But uh, yeah, guys, lots of stuff coming up on bo in both our worlds. We'll keep you guys tuned in as well. But I, I, we probably should just share some of our content here as well. Because, I mean, man, you've been releasing stuff. Oh, I mean, we're always stuff. releasing yeah. stuff. And uh, more, you know, we, you can always find our stuff in our personal endeavors. It'll also be shared here. Uh, as far as Comic Convos, though, we obviously all of our our uh, different entrepreneurial kind of outgoings are connected. Uh, Comic Convos, though, does definitely do its own thing. We want it to oh, be like, yeah. it, it's such a great idea and it's such a great thing for us to come and talk with you and Sai, Mike, you, Susie, everybody. 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 Getting opinions. You know, you can hear all my opinions and everyone bashes on it. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I mean, hey, no, man, no, we but all get But it's great because we have disagreements and we, we all have opinions and we can talk civilly and all mm. that. I don't think I finished season three of Gotham. <laughs> Mikey gets oh, better man. and better. You'll get it. You. It's a good season. But uh, more specifically, if you want to support us and specifically this endeavor, check out the comic uh, patreon.com slash comic combos. P A T R E O N dot com slash C O M I C O N V O S. And guys, you get a lot of stuff with the even just a dollar. You get oh, a yeah, mention so at the beginning and the end of the video, which, by the way, Huge, huge thanks to Sai and Susie for the support. You guys Once are again, both you guys are awesome. awesome supporters. Thank you so much Thank for you that. So much. Thank you, you. You have no idea how much it means to us that you do that and how much it helps us. I can tell you right now that some of the money that you have put in went towards getting some of these comics. Oh, absolutely. Or at least we'll go into getting more comics as we go down the line in the future. Uh, the other thing we release, uh, we release those memes early there. As Susie could probably tell you, she's been getting emails whenever we do posts. We have several uh patreon early posts and then we twice a week currently probably more as time goes on and we get more funding we we twice a week we release uh patreon only content that you know only shows up there we're not ever going to post on facebook or another site mm -hmm. even even the stuff i make some of Just that goes explosive. to 3d productions yep. patreon None of that, none of the patreon exclusive stuff will go to that it will email every time nice yeah awesome Tell, tell me when it's too much. <laughs> but we'll be doing that. We'll hopefully be doing at least one spoiler session a week with either one of us or the both of us, depending on how often we can get together. If we have two, it'll be uh, Friday and Wednesdays, I believe. Yeah, it's Wednesdays and Fridays. And then uh, usually we'll be doing Friday releases. So tomorrow, expect the one for Guardians. Uh, and then keep a lookout for Leo's spoiler seconds as well as my spoiler seconds on Injustice, uh, the Injustice 2 comic book at Chapter 5. I'll be doing a follow-up to chapter six. six. Yes, okay, I was going to oh, say, six, six is even well. better. Right. It That's went exactly crazy. where I thought it would, <laughs> except for it didn't. <laughs> it it's didn't never know. too much. I approve of the Discord. Oh, yeah. We also do have a Discord uh, set up for our Patreon uh, users. Eventually, we'll get into that more, perhaps when we're doing uh, Patreon-only casts. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll have a live Discord chat channel only over only here. Only which over we'll, here. Uh, uh, eventually, we want to get all that for our patrons. Right now, we only have uh, the two of Science Susie, which is totally fine. We appreciate you guys. Are Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you and, so much. And, and I say only two, but you are the only two that matter in the world. So <laughs> as, as things continue to build, we'll definitely start releasing more content, having more ideas, having a lot more oh, yeah. exclusives, a lot more for the our, Patreon our supporters. Our goal is for oh, us to I just do this. this. Oh, yeah. 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 Yep. And then we'll definitely be moving, progressing so more to, as we as we. Get, uh, yeah, until then we'll, we'll give another shout out once again science, science Susie, thank, thank you thank you, know, you guys so have been much great uh not only fans on facebook but obviously great patrons you guys are great people to talk with we enjoy talking with you every week oh, every um, week is the best week because yeah every week is the best week because you guys keep coming back and, showing back love. and, and the oh love look, tyler's amazing. tyler's here now right <laughs> what's up tyler <laughs> right as we're wrapping up Oh shit! I missed it. Just no worries, bit. man. I but mean, that's all right. Thank you for showing thank you up for at coming. all. You know, I, every every it's all good, man. And, and you guys don't know how much it means to it. Every live viewer, every live, every view, every like, every comment, every share, is basically, you know, even if not putting food in our stomachs right now, it's putting love in our hearts. 
Take care, guys. Enjoy the movie. It's Sam here. Good night. Yep. Bad See night. you. No sorry worries. about the 5 a.m. nights no, again. Sorry you about that side. Sleep, man. You, you get the good rest. Thanks for staying Jeez, up again, my brother. vision is terrible. I thought I said Sam, but thank you very much for coming by, Sai. You're a great supporter. Yo, Patreon uh, is on your F book, right? Yes, yep, Patreon is pinned at the, the top, very top. As well as in our group. Uh, we really should make, maybe we can get it in like the logo photo. Oh, yeah, it's, we can integrate it. In especially so until ways. we get it. And we've, we been, and we've been putting it in just about every single post. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, well, every one of those meme posts, I make it a point. Boom. I make it a point to tell you. And you'll see on a lot of our recent meme posts, it'll tell you how many days earlier the Patreon uh, recipients have received these. Oh, right on, Tyler. Almost, thank you. Yeah, man. thank you so much, man. You're but, awesome. But, yeah, guys, I mean, we're Common Convos, and we will be back next week for a lot more stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm Axel, and that's Leo. I'm Leo. This is Axel. Sign it up. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.